Now I should have cut off right at the good uh, riff. Go ahead and get your riff off. Oh, I ain't give you but so many riffs in my career. <laughs> Not too many runs over there. No, 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 right. Joe Biden. We still funny even though Park didn't record us earlier. <laughs> no. There was a lot of toxic no. stuff there, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, no well, we are not. This Park's. This Park's. This Park's. This Park's. Microphone check. One, two. What is this? Welcome to. I don't know. <laughs> Enough. Like, why do I have to come in here and just pretend? I don't know. They know what it is. It says it right there on the title. 96. 296. Really? Is it? It says it right there. In the uh, not big enough, though. It'd be like tiny in the corner because we try to look cool. <laughs> Damn, we almost had 300. Uh. We, I think we we cooling ourselves out of the promo game while we was making shit tiny and cool following Rory's instructions. <laughs> now now everybody's just making the font extra big, telling you what mm. they're talking about. Yeah. Like, oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, we didn't change with the times. Yeah. <laughs> Hip, hipster shit, man. I'm just trying to keep us cool. Damn, Rory. But I, th- but I keep, I've been telling you for a year that the hipsters ain't cool anymore. Well, that's because we're no, Wait, we're real hipsters. Who replaced the hipsters? There's a a younger crowd now. Hipsters right. are like OGs. Yeah, yeah. So, Rory's a hipster. In, in the well, words, in the words of Jerry Seinfeld, if they were hipsters, there wouldn't be any. Just mm-hmm. the definition makes no sense. Yeah. Mm. You can't hate everything and be a whole group. Yeah, no, yeah. that's true. You wouldn't like each other. That's a really good point. Yeah, good they're not. Re- yeah, well, has they're not really ever checked to see if the hipsters like each other. Uh, if hipsters like each other, they do. I've yeah. been to a, a bunch of bars in the part of Brooklyn that's closer to the river. <laughs> yeah, <Yo. laughs> what do hipsters fight over? Like Wait. after the club? No, let's pause. <laughs> you just, Rory, you're stupid. <laughs> you never keep a truck in a little bit. <laughs> no, no, I have. I'm just saying, I've I've dabbled a few times. No, I stayed t- deeper. Fuck, I never want to go to Brooklyn if it's not the nice part. <laughs> it's not by the Yo, water. Williamsburg is like it, it was been nice, but that shit is like OD right now. That shit is beautiful. Yeah, yeah. It's beautiful. They made slaughterhouse. That shit is bad. They made slaughterhouse do everything by Marcy. <laughs> <laughs> no, we did yeah. rough. We did rough trade. Marcy For nice the, now uh, too. <laughs> I forgot yeah. what single it was. Oh well, a Off block up never came out. <laughs> a block up. They're like, no. oh, how long y'all gonna be here? Yeah. <laughs> can, y'all can, gonna be can, here can, for a second? Cameras, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that when did the total slaughter shit? Yeah, <laughs> well, I, I oh, knew yeah. something was wrong. We crossed that Brooklyn bridge and had another thirty to go. Yeah. Thirty five, <laughs> like fam, this is the longest. Anytime you could go straight for thirty five minutes and your yeah. destination be on the way, yeah. it's yeah. a problem. Yeah, yeah. when, you, when, you're, when you're on it, when you're on Atlantic for about thirty five minutes, it's like, all right, yeah. <laughs> or am I about to end up? Yeah. Don't Never. be on it long enough for it to loop. <laughs> 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 that was the shit Maul hosted, right? Yeah, yeah, he did. Some chick I met in speed. Maul's trying to get smack out the paint? <laughs> no. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. No. Maul did host it. He that. did host and it. And he did kind of try to take smack's bag. Did I? He did the coin toss. He said, yo, everyone calm down. <laughs> what you want me to do, man? <laughs> what you want me to I do? I need to go back and revisit Hollow's first eight bars of that battle to me because that's how I feel he's some he, he hit that shit on the head with that whole scam oh he did no he killed <laughs> he so. killed that he, after that he was horrible it, it, he killed he, that scheme he's telling you what he was saying just go over heads man that's all it is he smoked that scheme and he was right but I couldn't say it no he was <laughs> what are you talking right? about y'all scamming uh, yeah he was no, saying you right. guys are just taking this shit some popularity of the battle rap fans yeah. you're exploiting it putting it in a Hammerstein ballroom for people that are probably not even really battle rap fans just to promote Slaughterhouse's album that's all y'all doing <laughs> he was right damn y'all was nasty <laughs> well he was wrong because we weren't trying to promote the album but I do it think it certainly that, helped I do think <laughs> the label one we never put an album out <laughs> at that time you guys were supposed to put an album out and it brought more notoriety to Slaughterhouse nah, people talked about no, it for much longer no, I can't say no he- not true at that time we was all on our solo shit yeah, and y'all was all maybe back. the label had had a That's plan. Saying, yeah. Maybe they had a plan. No, it was a great, great idea. But, but Hollow is certainly right. I that was exploiting battle rap just for money and for attention to a group. I think their plan was uh, uh, I think the devil was in the details of that plan. I think it was veiled greatly. I don't think it was in hey, we just want to promote Slaughterhouse. I think it was elsewhere. Mm. They could have continued if. 
But like, yeah, same thing I keep saying like in so. podcasts, and they keep talking about all this ad, ad, ad dollars, ad dollars, ad dollars. That's cool, <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. But what's over there? <laughs> that was a good show, though. Yeah, I wish they would have continued. No, Hollow killed that. And it was then, a great TV show. And yeah. then started walking in circles around Joe and said, "Yo, I'm rapping circles around you." And then, then really he bad. lost me. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was bad. I think at one point he threw a bag on the floor and said, "I'm about to get in my bag." <laughs> I think I remember that too. <laughs> yeah, he lucky but I, the first scheme was great. He lucky I was whack. <laughs> you don't throw no bag in front of me on the floor. <laughs> Nigga, I'm about to smoke you. Uh, all right, welcome to episode 296 of the JBP, the Joe Button Podcast. I am indeed him. All right, now you're that's JBP. No, I'm the JB. <laughs> you guys they don't are, call you that when you walk in Starlets. You, you guys are the P, huh? They don't call don't, me anything when I Don't call me the P. <laughs> I'm the P. <laughs> yeah, he's Parks. That's nasty. I'm the P. I'm never calling you the P. Uh, <laughs> welcome to episode 296. I'm Joe Budden. You're a humble host, gracious, all that shit, highly favorite host. Here with a few of my nearest and dearest friends. Maul is here. Parks is here. Rory is here. Erickson is here. Savon is here. Screen Man is here. Gentlemen, how's everyone feeling on this amazing weekend? I'm good, good man. Good, man. Yeah. A little chilly out. For five years, you guys have been good. Don't try to deflect and get straight to the weather report. It is. It's cold, <laughs> man. It's getting cold out. Speaking of weather reports, somebody wanted me to ask uh, Parks, because they always hear you talk about how great the Infamous album is. Yeah. Uh, they wanted to know if you believe it to be better than the war report. Yes, but... I knew the answer to that, yeah. but I just... Only that, because if anyway. the war report was maybe a couple songs shorter. Shorter. Yeah. shorter. Although Infamous is probably a couple songs too long, too, honestly. Is it? That's true. Yeah, there's a couple songs. What would you really... cut? Infamous could be Toward, like there's like 17 songs. It I could believe. be three songs yeah. shorter. Yeah, for sure. It could. Yeah, but I'm more of an infamous guy. That's all. Yeah. All right. Um. All right. So everybody's doing good. Y'all been doing good for five years. I do yeah. think War Report was the last of the that era though. That was the last album of the real Queens rap sound era. The War Report. The War Report. Yeah. After Which that, was we got what? Swiss what was and all that? that shit. Ninety-seven, I believe. Yeah. 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 Probably so. Yeah. Mm. Classic. What was, Hell on, what was Hell on Earth? 96. Okay. All right. Yeah, moving anyway. forward. <laughs> uh, moving forward. All right, so everybody's good. Everybody had an eventful week. Everybody's feeling right. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. None of you guys want to utilize your platform to discuss. Well, we we're going well, we're we're to talk about uh, rappers on R&B features. Oh, yeah. But we kind of skipped over it already. That, I, that is, and that is a really good topic. That is a good it topic. Is. That, that's a great topic. Uh, I don't know how many names would uh, would be thrown in that hat, though. I don't know uh, if it's a vast array off the of top of my head. The best ones you mean? Fab, you Ghost, mean? Mace would be the first people that pop in my head. Kiss definitely like Kiss. Well, yeah, yeah, we're talking about Kiss. Yeah. Joe Drake, was good at that at Drake, one point, although you well, don't have as many. Well, Joe just took the songs. They, have, he wasn't have, asked to be have, on them. I have a bunch of unofficial ones, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, we talking about you know, right? You know, we talking about. Yeah. I don't even know if I would say all the people that he just that uh, Rory just said. Who'd you add? Well, no, I would say Kiss. Big was good at it. Yeah. Jay yeah. was good at it too, but that kind of, you know. They both didn't do a lot of them. I feel like True. Fab did a ton of them. Yeah. Fab was the, definitely the go-to. Mace did a good amount. Fab might have the greatest R&B feature ever. Which is what Talk record? About it. I'm on the edge. Of, I'm at the edge of my seat. Uh, <laughs> probably the Tamiya record. Oh, so, well, no, it was his record. So was he? That was her record. Well, I mean, I mean <laughs> but no, he made it. He didn't feature on it. He, he, he put. He put... Four, three sixteens on it. Fab was hitmaker. It wasn't really a feature. <laughs> yeah, it was, right? <laughs> well, I mean, it's the same exact hook that was her record, so I mean. Yeah. Kind of I just wouldn't consider it a feature, that's all. You're saying that's the greatest R&B rap? Shut up. It might be. Put it on me. I don't know if put it on me. Is... Ja would be in the conversation. Ja would For definitely sure. be. Oh, yeah. Put it on For me sure. puts an end to that one. I know that one. Yeah. I don't know. If bro. we're talking about <laughs> yeah. rapping with R and B hooks, <laughs> I was talking about features. Like I know you, you were on like an R and B record. The third verse. No, you just do a verse yeah. on it. Yeah, <laughs> like that's what I was talking about. No, yeah, yeah, I wasn't no, talking yeah, about R and B rap. You did the bridge because you could do that conversation. We'd be here for five hours. That's different. Okay, just the verse. I don't know. We y'all we wouldn't be here for five hours. Y'all not naming too many of those better than putting on me. If we're talking about just that, Ja might be one or two. Yeah, definitely. Put it on me brings me to that shit that uh and we're not off this you know we got ADD here but of it course. brings me to that shit that, that busy, <laughs> and we have a lot to get to that busy bone when we gonna get to all of it which is why it's great that y'all good fuck y'all week uh, <laughs> that shit busy bone said about um none of the artists that are here today will be here in twenty five years or maybe two of them or whatever he said Ian and I had a lot of good conversations off of that 
yesterday. What was it? What was the exact really? quote? Yeah, yeah. He was just saying they wouldn't be here. Yeah, he was just talking about longevity of uh, artists currently making music. Oh yeah, I mean, very few of them make like music that will last. They just make in the moment music. A lot of them are musicians. They follow We've trends. Had that conversation. Yeah, they just, you know, a lot of them are not artists. It's yeah. trend based music. Technology it's last has made for it possible months. for anybody to make music pretty mm-hmm. easily and sound pretty good what doing it. it. Oh, that's why I'm interested to see what kind of extensive conversation y'all had about it. Well, we were because trying to discuss who who do we think? Wouldn't you just agree? Yeah, but I mean, there's deeper. Who do you think of this generation? Like excluding, we're obviously Cole and, and Kendrick and Drake are in a previous generation. Who then, of this generation do oh. you think will last? Uh, I have faith as of the of, streaming generation. As of now, with the YBM Corday, yeah, that okay. first out, it just made can't say for sure, right? But that sounds like music that will last. Yeah, there's an actual talent there. Sure. You know who's really underrated, and I, I listen to a lot of their music like the past two weeks, just catching up on it. Kodak Black. Kodak does I didn't Kodak music. Yeah, I does. didn't realize he made that that much good music and was that like was saying that much dope shit in his in his record. He's which, really talented, which, which does not make him underrated because you did not know. No, but I feel like he that should a be a known records. thing though. Yeah. Like a lot of people don't put him in that category as being one of the best young. Yeah, rappers. he's he's not in that follow the trend bullshit mumble rap. He's I mean, not, he's, he, he's what? No, he's out of that as far as making music. No, but he it, he says music. a lot he mumbles, of dope. But he makes good music. <laughs> he says a lot of dope shit though. Like yeah, I don't does. think a lot of people talk about the shit he be saying. He's really talented. I think the off the court quote unquote antics kind of yeah. take away from. But he's like the music, if, and that's why I don't understand. Like a lot, I think of a lot of people know that is what I'm saying. Yeah, like he he says a, so much like dope shit in his music that yeah. I'm surprised that he's in so much like real life trouble because yeah. he's a smart he's a smart he's a smart dude. Like yeah. you can't say some of the shit that he's saying and not be intelligent. That's true. Smart and intelligent. I don't know if they necessarily. Just, yeah, it's the different. Same yeah. Uh, well, yeah, but he could be a smart dude and just do stupid shit. Yeah, I'm not gonna call him intelligent. And I know a lot of the shit is you know past shit and shit that still lingers. But Kodak well, Black is, I think, one of the one of the, the younger artists. Well, that, what did they pay you? Who? <laughs> Kodak. <people. laughs> I don't know anybody that works with Kodak. Oh. Never met the dude in my life. He is very talented, though. But I was just listening to, like, my homeboy was telling me, like, yo, listen to his shit. And I took some time to listen to a lot of his. That's how like, I found out about him, too. Somebody had to say, nah, you're wrong. I Go always knew he was, had some <laughs> records, but, like, I went digging and, like, listening to. Yeah, I, f- I liked all his albums. Yeah, he, he got out. some shit. Yeah, but that's why you get really confused when he does stupid shit. Yeah. <clears throat> because he's in the music saying what it is. <laughs> right. Right. And then the visual is just different. But I wonder how much of that I mean, shit is, like, people. Uh, it seems like a lot of shit that happens in music as far as like saying dumb shit, doing dumb shit is um, done on purpose. That's true. And I'm not saying that, that I'm not giving him a pass yeah. for the things he said or done. I just wonder if that has played a part in any of the things uh, that think, he has said. I think that's just least. him. <laughs> yeah, you might be right. I don't know anything but about But he's not kid. the first artist that sounds smart on records and does dumb shit, and that's not even hip-hop based. I'm just... I mean, I just know people in real life. Artist music, you know. it's just he's kind, definitely of a, probably, kind of been a theme. He's definitely probably one of my favorite young rappers now, though. He is very talented. Yeah. Once he squares away, and he's his... only twenty two. Like, yeah. oh, he's very young. I yeah. know young, young kid. But yeah, I'm, I'm curious to see what the longevity of a lot of these uh, streaming artists is going to be. Mm-hmm. And I think that streaming is. Uh... Huh? You say you're not. You say you're not. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, don't you don't care, care about the future of rap, hip hop. Um. Yes. That doesn't mean you have to necessarily believe in the talents of the present class. Oh, no. Um, Absolutely. Well, We've been through this what, before. Yeah. We've seen it before. You don't have to believe in it, but I, It's always concerned. my job to be concerned about yeah. the future, which is why I try to arm these gentlemen with the information that they may need. Now, what they do creatively, you know, that's exempt from... I'm not gotcha. doing yeah. I'm right. cool. I'm cool. Gotcha. And, and while it may be more I've this, come to this gr- generation, we've had past generations where there's been... Uh, influx of rappers that have came and went. Absolutely. Now it's it's much more, but they, they, they keep they, they you know I know it's been um, an easy way to identify Joe for years by saying that Joe is a hater. Joe is a hater. Joe is a hater. Right. And Joe's a hater, but it's and that's fine. I hate a lot of shit. That, <laughs> that's true. But with that, I'm also totally fine with accepting that a lot of the stuff that's created is just not for Joe. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Same, same. Yeah. I feel the same way. Even and, stuff that I like. Yeah, like, but now when we say it, like, you know how we say it, like a line. like Right. But I'll listen to, to like albums and I'll be like, oh, this is really good, but I will never listen to it again. Yeah. 
That happens every week. Yeah, literally, it's true. <laughs> All right, where you want to start? Where you want to start? Where you want to start? Give it to me. I didn't want to start with Kodak Black. Kodak Black <laughs> is great. Now, <laughs> where do you want to start? Oh, oh go ahead. <sighs> Y'all should be ashamed of yourselves. What we did? Nothing. That's the point. Oh man, gonna let this nigga take it to the next level on us. <laughs> <laughs> the other. The- the competition? For years, I've been saying, like, yo, let's, t- let's turn it up on these guys out here. Let's take things to the next level. I'm not sure if I want to classify this as taking it to the next level. Not Parks. This is the next level. Is it? <laughs> it's another level. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to be on next. that level. Maybe not the next. It's, it's a level, next, though. It's a level. It's a level somewhere. Yeah. Well, T.I. recently mm-hmm. found himself in a lot of heat. Can I pre- precurse, preamble this by saying, uh, I think that grown men talking about a teenage girl's body parts is weird. Well, that's kind of everyone's problem here. <laughs> okay, T.I. Cool, included. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> I just want to say that I haven't heard too many people with that take, and that's all. But let's deliver the news and react. I don't know if my conversation has much to do with the female and I agree, I agree. And I do think that I agree with you. We don't have any place to speak on that. Right. Uh, but it's interesting because I also don't have a daughter. Right. Nor do and, I. And neither do you guys. Right. So it's like, how do we say who's t- able to say what we're all sure. imagining? To of some course. Point. But no, we're not talking about female anatomy. We're not doing that. Yeah. Uh, T.I. is facing some backlash because he appeared on a podcast and they asked him a question and he took things to a different level by telling the world that he accompanies his 18-year-old daughter to the gynecologist uh, to check her hymen. And that was all she wrote? That was all you had to write? Yeah. I didn't there was it. more written. Oh, yeah. let me, I didn't, let me, I didn't listen, hear the listen, tone. Let me tell you guys, we did our podcast. We recorded it Tuesday. We knew we were going to have to record early on a Thursday. I was a little worried about the content. <laughs> but Tip turned it up. <laughs> Boy, I was home clapping. I was like, whoa, 30 minutes to you. <laughs> uh, so now that we've started, let's just address the elephant in the room. What's a hymen? Uh, it's the cherry. Yeah, it's what breaks when intercourse happens, or or, or something, uh, or see, something else. See, well, according to be, what women have been saying, the hymen is a thin piece of mucosal tissue. You got it. Yeah, I guess another object could do or it. Partially covers the external vaginal opening. It forms part of the vulva or external genitalia and is similar in structure to the vagina. Just want to know more freestyle that? He didn't read that off any screen. <laughs> he, he did great. He did great. Yeah, I thought I did a good job. <laughs> yeah, you did, Maul. Thank you, man. Do it again. <laughs> no. uh, yeah, so... Maul paid attention in sex ed. <laughs> the only class. Passed, you were nasty. Passed, he, went, he, went, he went there for the free condoms. Yeah. It's cool. Did you go to sex ed in, in school? Yeah. I should have stayed in school. I was about to it say. wasn't, a fun it wasn't class as cool as you think it was. Yeah, man. Not at all. You like get a, you get one condom. A at sixty the, year old white guy is telling you about vaginas. It's, yeah, yeah. it's kind of awkward. <laughs> Condoms would have been whack at sixteen too. Rory <laughs> 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 beefing that they gave him one. All right, I threw that shit in the trash like the receipt. <laughs> Joe was crazy. Let me try to take things to the next level. I'm no, joking. Take it, no, take I'm it, joking. Take I'm it, joking. Take it, bro. Take it. Uh, so, all right, that is what a hymen is. And the internet erupted because this is controlling. This is abusive. I'm just saying the things I read. I'm yeah. not a woman. I don't have a daughter. I don't know any. I just learned what this is. Policing. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not yeah. policing, controlling, and not doing anything. Uh, but yeah, they called him an abusive, controlling piece of shit dad. If you were my dad, I would tell you to fuck off <laughs> and get the fuck out of my face. Like, it was bugging out on tip. I mean, yeah. It's their family, so I don't think that. See, because that's other. Uh, that's another rule of mine. Right. I don't tell parents how they parent, how they should parent. Sure. So taking away from that, maybe we just discuss the bigger issue of like that's not really like a scientifically proven thing. That what? He, uh, checking the hymen for virginity. It and, yeah, it can be bro- broken. It doesn't mean it. Women are telling me that it, it can be. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's what women are like. What if she even masturbated or something? So, so that's, then, that's what I want to say. Woman's that. point was, "What are you proving with that?" And right. I think Ti re- replied, 
And I don't know if he's joking, so let's preface this with that. We we do not. I didn't hear the I, tone of how he said it. I don't know if he's joking. Weird thing to joke about. He but, said it very <laughs> eloquently, though. You but know. he says everything eloquently. Yeah. yeah. The room erupted in laughter, and the room was full of women. Mm. Women. So, and those women later on, and this podcast wasn't even Ti's podcast. This was Miguel's wife's podcast with okay. her co-host. I don't, okay. I don't have their names directly in front of me, but they issued an apology today. Uh, okay. For their knee jerk reaction, they also <clears throat> deleted the episode. Oh. Uh, so they took action. They they took action. Uh, they didn't do it for clicks, and then just put out the apology and keep the episode up. So kudos to them. Uh, but yeah, they've been tearing ti ass up for about three days now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think I understood what ti was trying to say. He was trying to say he was a father that was like very over forward, over protective of which most dads would be with their daughters, but. I think for one, I don't think he should have said this on a public platform. One. Yeah, it seems like a, something you should keep at the crib. And two, it's like you know, if you and your daughter have that relationship, then I think that should be a relationship between you and your daughter. Like, don't put that on a. Public Everything platform. isn't for everybody. Yeah, that was my. Only thing. I'm not mad at him being that involved in this child's life and making sure that you know she's not out here, you know, running around doing anything that he wouldn't want her to be doing. But yeah, don't because, put that on a public platform, yeah. especially with your teenage daughter that has to then go back. Yeah, she's in school. To society. Yeah. Right. And yeah. you have a famous father. <clears throat> yeah. Right. I will say that how you man, how you maneuver uh how you maneuver as a famous parent to your of age child, like your eighteen when they have to really go out and deal with the world, school, yeah. classmates, their peers, their friends. It's important. Like I even I even think twice about the things I even write under my kids' Instagram because it's like I don't know what you got going on. Yeah. Mm. I don't know how you how, how how you are with your friends. I don't know how they're receiving you. I don't wanna embarrass you. I would add a fit if my mom did some of this shit or my dad when I was a kid. Like, fam, I'm cool out here. Right. Yeah. <laughs> your, your hymen was definitely not broken at that age. I have time for Rory today. <laughs> I didn't pay Rory any mind. Um, so it's yes, different that- for, uh, I know for like, for, for us as, as, as young men when we were growing up, it was, we were looked at as corny if we were still a virgin at a certain age. Like, yeah, I, of course. I know for, for girls it's obviously different. But I mean, you know, I can only imagine the the type of uh, shit she's dealing with now. Though. Well, yeah. Well, she was liking Twitter comments that were basically saying, oh, "Get the fuck out of here, Ted." <laughs> 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 now I don't know if that means anything, but yeah. it does mean something. But yeah, it's it's like a practice. This whole the practice of checking the hymen is kind of like. Uh, the world is trying to banish it because in a lot of places people are punished really horribly for that. Women are punished really horribly for that. So mm-hmm. for him to practice, like that's another thing I've seen a lot and people even say it in our comments, like, yo, people do this all over the world. Like it's, it's okay thing to do, but no, people are like, well, no, they do it for maybe it's religious reasons or back. Yeah. yeah. Or but women are like punished have, for that. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? So it's not cool. Uh, <laughs> and aside from that, if your kid is 18, I'm not talking about tip because how he parents is how he parents. But if, if if my kid is 18 and he wants to have a, again, he, I don't have a daughter, a private meeting with his doctor, he should be able to, I feel like. If he it's wanted, your doctor. Yeah. Right. But the doctor like told him that well, the no, she, could be. She had to sign something could be so broken, that though. he could see that information. Okay. I could get my kid to sign something, too. Yeah. No, I'm just <laughs> putting that in there. That, that doesn't say much to me. Right. With that privacy. Doesn't mean, that doesn't mean anything. To me. And again, I don't want to continue to speak about how T.I. chooses to parent because I don't have a daughter. But this did sound, it sounded nuts. It sounds I, nuts. It, yeah. sound, it sounded nuts. T.I. Uh, is wild. Yeah. <laughs> the doctor told him that the, the, the hymen can be broken in activities other than vaginal sex, such as bike riding, athletics, horseback riding, other just other forms of <laughs> And Tip athletic. said, nah, she don't ride no horses. <laughs> she don't ride no, no bikes. bikes. She don't, she don't, ain't no bikes. <laughs> yeah. she, she don't, don't ride a bike. She don't, she don't even play a, no sports. <laughs> Yeah, nah, she don't breathe. Now give me back, <laughs> give me back my results expeditiously. <laughs> yeah, but to Parks' earlier point, like I never know when I see stuff like this, I never know if it's genuine or if it's done for promotion. Uh, so I think some of because it, 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 it had it was genius promotion on his part. And if you have a new podcast, I said this a few weeks ago, right? Yeah, I think that Ti has been. Yeah, but you that's, don't. That's, 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 yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Not using yeah. my daughter's the teenage no, daughter vagina for promotion for, that. for yeah. your your Ti. You don't need to use your, your daughter for promotion for your podcast. Like that's just you know. It seems I mean, out of pocket. I'm, I'm sure a lot of it. He was just kind of just you know joking a little bit. 
And but, I didn't listen to this episode, but I don't think he went there saying, all right, well, I don't know what you guys have on your list, but I want to talk about this. It probably came I, up I think in conversation. He, I think he, what he was really trying to say is, yes, I am. I do have those conversations with my daughter. I don't want her having sex right now. Like, so all these little boys that's, you know, probably trying to take out and date her, like, ain't nothing happening. I mean, she's 18 years old, so I don't think you really have too much say at that point. Yeah, personally, you have personally. some say, but you know. So that's what well, I'm that, saying. A lot of no, questions. Was, had... That was the question I was about to ask y'all. Like, right. do you feel like that's something that you have any say in? If you have a daughter that's 18 years old, I not that you so. have a say you don't have in, a say in but shit. You, but you can't you, control shit. It's none no, of your but business. You, want your no, it's, it's you always want your daughter to know, like, I'm I'm your father forever, and I'm gonna always be here to have these conversations whenever you want. Like, but who's who's to say that she wasn't? That's a very different who, message from. Sign this paper. No, I think, but I think, I think that's a lot. Like I said, a lot of that. I think Ti was just having fun, joking. But I do think that what he was trying to put forward is, yes, me and my daughter have these conversations. Like we're very, our communication on that is very clear. Like I think that's ultimately what he was trying to say. It can't be that clear. Between him and his daughter. Yes. Why? Because she's liking all of the comments that I mean, are just, against him. That's just fun. Yeah, well, yeah she, but you don't know that. She could probably feel that. Yeah, we don't know that. You don't know that. Yeah. Listen, yeah. just fun. Listen yeah. what I'm saying. We don't know but that. Like, yeah. liking a comment is not, I don't put Stop. too much weight into that. Sure, that's like, fair. That, to me, that but, doesn't mean. I know, but part, like, of, but, but part, part of communication is uh, understanding the other person's point and how they feel as absolutely. well. Absolutely, correct. Absolutely. So just because... T.I. expressed how he feels and is going about it that way. If he don't know where his daughter stands on that, or if he don't care, mm -hmm. it's a different... Yeah. Yeah. But from what you can, we can see, I mean, they look like a pretty close... Men, men, family. men, 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 men. You can't police women. No. You cannot police of women. Women are not possessions. You don't own them. You cannot control them. Mind your fucking business. That's to men. Not T.I. That's family. That's his business. Uh... No, no, but, but your, it feels your like daughter, you just, though. You can't control your daughter. Your teenage daughter. Okay, I mean, is there? You have some she's eighteen years old. Is, is there? A, is there a world where Ti? That's a tough. That's a tough pill for parents to swallow sometimes. But it is. You can't control your kid, and certainly not to the point of, like, this is all hypothetical. Whatever. She could have a normal, healthy relationship with someone, a normal, healthy sexual relationship with someone. Mm -hmm. And it be okay. I could see a situation where yes, you can control your daughter if she's going out doing heroin. Yeah, maybe you should step in and do some shit. But this, if I, someone is having normal, healthy relationships, it's not really your your job to say what they do in those relationships. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, no, I agree with you on it's that. It's true. But like I said, I just and I you shouldn't even play like that. Even if you playing, you shouldn't play like that. Okay. Yeah, like some yeah. jokes is just who gets that? Who's laughing? Right. Yeah. But you know, again. I think what he was ultimately saying is him and his daughter have, he is in her involved in her, her life. Like he, you know, lets her know like we're gonna have these conversations. And yeah, listen, I think I there's a world where Ti just took his daughter to the gynecologist as a parent does, yeah. and part of going to the gynecologist is part of hey you have to sign this. And he may have jokingly said, yo, you want to sign this so I can see. Mm -hmm. And his daughter maybe isn't even thinking about sex and was like, of course, dad, I'm like right. you, I'm not tripping. Right. And that's all it was. Yeah, I think Which is speculation. A, we're, that's what we've been doing this entire time. We weren't there. So I'm speculating from another perspective. Yeah, <laughs> I, I know, but I want to be I clear. Said, I started with, maybe there's a world where... <laughs> maybe there's a world where my son is on Instagram as we speak right now saying that his life is falling apart, but in the midst of all of these problems, I still got this music shit. Appreciate and love the fans, for real. Joe, remember like what five the? minutes ago when we were talking about respecting our kids' boundaries when you have a famous father <laughs> and what the not fuck putting is them Trey on talking about over not here? putting them on platforms. <laughs> His life is falling apart. Your dad's rich. You in college? Last, when the last time you spoke to him? You just pulled up on me in your ex's car. What are you talking about? That's why his life is falling apart. She might have took the car back. His life is fine. <laughs> what if she took the car back? Let's see. Let's call him. I would love to hear how his world is falling. And I resent that. And then laugh at him and say, listen. You know all the shit I went through. Hello, Pops. What the fuck are you over yo? What are you over there talking tell, about, tell man? Tell him it's Joe Button from the Joe oh, Button Podcast. All right. Hey, all right. It's Joe Button from the Joe Button Podcast. Hey, it's daddy, nigga. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> the podcast. Trey. What? No, don't don't start repeat. Don't start doing what Rory does. Don't start repeating everything I say to you, little friends. Listen. Uh -oh. 
What are you talking about on the internet that your life is falling apart? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm I'm fine. I told I had a very long therapy session with my roommate, and the end result was that your dad is rich. <laughs> so, so there ain't there ain't really no point of worry. I mean, that's a Fendi. <laughs> no, no, but what's going on? What what what's happening? What what's wrong? College, college is very stressful and is a very big difference from before. And I'm going through a lot and then putting a lot on. Me. Good. I, I mean, yeah, it's good. That's life at 18. Yeah. Yeah, but and this is the drastic change that you've been talking about for the past three years. Oh, so. oh finally. Finally. <laughs> yes. Yes, finally. The moment has come, guys. As a dad, we say shit for years and then they understand what you're saying. Stop looking at you like you're a fucking nut. Right. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, good. This is excellent. Maybe I will cash up you that money now. <laughs> go, go ahead to the little club tonight all right cool that's dope listen that's not what i call for i'm discussing this yeah. ti shit man he got me to thinking your hymen is you what you know what a hymen is <laughs> is it my hymen do you have a is your hymen is your hymen in, in check intact well, well i'm not a girl but if i was a girl and i'm moving the way i am now then no i wouldn't i, I wouldn't <laughs> Now's the time we need to start wait, calling my Trey, phone a little more. I'm going to teach you how to navigate the Trey, campuses, B. Trey got community pussy? No, Trey should have no. Trey's a thought. <laughs> hey, hey, and, and that's why it's life falling apart. Yeah, that's why it's really falling apart. They both knocked on the door oh, at the same time, man, huh, Trey? Yeah, man. Oh, you going through? I'm going to pull up over there at that college. No, nah, don't I'm pull a, up. I'm going to pull up. No, I got to fix it. He going to fix it. Let him figure it out. Yeah, he got to learn. He got to tell uh, one of them you ain't my girl. That's all. I know what he going through. Three girlfriends at one time. Trey, speak, speak, no. speak, speak, speak to that, please. Are you are you having trouble effectively communicating with women? Um, I I think women are having trouble interpreting what I'm saying. Oh, he's uh, learning early. <laughs> he's good. He's good. He's good. He's learning <laughs> early. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> All right, yo, I, I wanted to hang up they on you for at least three minutes, but now you. All right, what are you trying to say to them that they're having trouble uh, in Turkey? I'm having that same problem um, actually. <laughs> it doesn't um, get better, Trey. I feel it like doesn't. I feel like my wording is very direct when it comes to to telling girls things and they take it and then flip it into a whole nother thing. Oh, then, oh welcome, bro. It's the game. Yeah. The game the is game, the game. The game. Yeah. Yeah. It never changes, just the players. Oh, <laughs> man. Oh, my baby going through it. I'm going to pull up, yeah. man. We're going to go eat or something. <laughs> I, I, yeah, it's, it's bad. It's, I'll pull up. <laughs> it, I'll pull up on you. It's fine. <laughs> we'll, we'll talk about it. Stop telling your business. Broke here, college right? student running around. Uh, all right, all right, all right. Enough. <laughs> Enough. You, hey, you supposed, you have a job? You're supposed to be broke. <laughs> I feel like his Yo, therapist just told me he got a rich you, father. Why you, would I need you, a job? You don't have a job, and you keep pushing your your album back. <laughs> like <laughs> I, I, I pushed yeah. my he, just like his once, father, and it wasn't even that far. All right, well, you'll be broken till it come out. You'll call Gazi <laughs> or somebody eventually. <laughs> broken till it's gonna be a piece, I guess. All right, listen, your dad has to work, and you're boring now. Like love and hip hop, say get off the phone. <laughs> I'll call you later. <laughs> You said Love and Hip Hop sound was boring. Yeah, one of, right. yeah, you don't try to get on Love and Hip Hop cameras and start revealing new information. Oh, you didn't talk to me for years. Get off the camera now. <laughs> <laughs> this little nigga. That's, that's, right, that's what they were begging for. Get your so shit I, off on camera. Yeah, they were begging for You don't listen to them. You listen to me. But all right, we'll talk about it later. I'll call you tomorrow. I'll cash up you some money. Bye. All right, bye. <laughs> He's going through it. Right. I can't wait to y'all have kids, that man. That walk to manhood. <laughs> he is stressing he over there. walk to manhood. That's all it is. That's good, that's good stress, I though. knew it was women. Right. I knew he, it was, he doesn't know it, but that's women. the best stress that's you could have. Women. But this is what I was waiting for. Whenever before. a man says, my life is falling apart, a woman is somewhere in the middle of the apart. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> all right, well, that's a per- this is the, Maybe more than one. This is the perfect segue to talk about Kevin McCall, then. What's Kevin up to? <laughs> Kevin McCall needs prayer. Okay. And we all do. He needs more. Okay. <laughs> Kevin McCall for years has been in like a wild custody battle with uh, his child's mom, Eva. Mm-hmm. Right? And for quite some time, she has painted him as uncivil, uh, a threat to himself and the child. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
She questioned his mental health, said he was unstable. Mm -hmm. And that has been their dispute. Uh, so he was going to court to uh, fight for visitation, custody, all the shit that you fight for. Mm -hmm. uh, and he got into an altercation at the hearing that apparently he requested with the police officer there that was telling him to stop recording like they tell you in any court proceeding <laughs> yeah. or uh, courthouse that you go to. And he was saying, I'm not recording, I'm on live. Which is <laughs> <laughs> there is a difference. No, you're no. recording. <laughs> yes, that's recording. That, that is recording. Oh, so he went to the courthouse and tried to play semantics? Yeah. yeah. I'm not recording, I'm streaming. And then he threatened the cop. Still recording. He said, I would fuck you up, you a bitch. Do we have uh, audio this? Then, uh, yeah, if you want to hear it. I do want to hear like it. Like to hear I, it? I didn't, I didn't hear it. I like didn't. to hear it, hear it go. You're going to have to give her to me. Marley, your daddy finna get you, baby. Love you. That's the lady now. She, she made me a potato. No FaceTime in there. Don't mean Bill. Yeah, I understand. I'm not FaceTiming. Mind your business, sir. Mind your business. I'm talking to the cop. I'm not no. FaceTiming. No. You, Mind your business. I'm not FaceTiming. I'm recording on my phone. You ain't got nothing. No, you put your phone, sir. What are you talking I'm talking to you. My name is Kevin McCall. What's your name? I am talking you, to you, you, sir. You can't record in this building. I'm not recording. I'm recording on my phone. You I'm can't not on record FaceTime. in this building, period. Okay, so what do you mean? I can't record on my phone. He just told you what he means. He, <laughs> he just told you. That's what I thought. Take your badge off. <laughs> <laughs> your ass up. Crip. Probably not, not another good thing to say. Did you tell the cop on Crip? Yeah. Take your badge off. It continues. I mean, he just, he screams, and that's that's pretty much the, the end of that. He definitely did just tell a cop, not only on Crip, but he told a cop on Crip at the custody hearing at the courthouse that he requested. Yeah. He would have to know how this makes the law view him. Mm. And that's where I say, we just got to pray for Kevin McCall. Actually, I say that because... What happened to Kevin McCall? What happened to Kevin McCall? Well, even when he was Kevin at like his was, top writing and what a making music, guy. he was he was still on. I think it might have been UStream at that time. He was still kind of breaking down and looking like he was not mentally all there, even at his peak of writing and making music. Yeah. This isn't a new thing, as far as his mental goes. Yeah, I mean, I, we we've seen this case how many you know countless times. But I think, you know, I, I don't know Kevin McCall, never met him, but you can only guess that, you know, he's dealing with some type of trauma in his life and he's probably trying to deal with it with, you know, drugs, drug use, alcohol, the things that people turn to to kind of suppress a lot of the shit that you may be dealing with. But that, I don't know why he would think that was a smart move, like going into the courthouse where you're going for a hearing and get into a fight with yeah. the to bailiff. To show that I'm fit as a parent, yeah, that, right. That just, yeah, but she's just, saying that you're mentally unstable and all yeah, sorts of shit. Like you're, you're, you're gonna lose this case. I'm normally glued to these cases. I'll be honest, because uh, I've been involved in in it before. Mm -hmm. One and two, this is kind of how that goes. When there's custody battles, the parents normally try to paint each other as unfit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you right. could, you know. Yeah. Uh, but when you can actually, when the viewing public can actually tell that you're unfit. Right. That's not good for you. It's not, yeah, it's not, it's not too much. Or the officers of the court who can then go talk to the judge. <laughs> yeah. They arrested, they arrested him. So they did arrest Kevin McCall because there's Damn. no video of this, but uh, the word is that he did end up tussling with the officer and they both oh, fell gosh. down an escalator. <sighs> Uh, and then they arrested him, and they tacked him with, I think, five charges. Wow. Hate and to it, see it. And then the word was that together. he spent the night in jail because he was unable to make the $9,500 bail. Oh, yeah, I read that, I read that part as well. Yeah, it's but see, but, 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 no, 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 it's not. And that's, well, I want to point that out. I want to be responsible with my platform. You tough niggas, y'all have to walk a line between... Your your toughness has to go accordance to your bail money. 
uh, you you missed my my word for unfortunate. No, I'm not talking about that. I said, it's oh. unfortunate that there's a child that oh is no in yeah. between. Super, yes, yeah. yes, 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 yeah, yeah. No, yeah. this oh, is I'm unfortunate. Yeah. Super <laughs> unfortunate because the child is the most important. Yeah. No, I know what you're saying. Thing with. here, you can't get in a fight. In, in a courthouse and then not have bail money. And then I'm going to say... With the officer yeah, then I'm, the I'm, court. I'm not saying free McCall after that. Yeah. If you give it up in a courtroom, you better have that sh- that cash in your pocket. Like, Yeah. Hey, hip-hop, we be too free with our freeze. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, it's not just free the guy that's fighting the, uh, bail, uh, the, court, the court cop. Yeah. No, my unfortunate is that he was walking to a court hearing for his child that now has to deal with this. And that's in both of these topics so far. We got a podcast... So so we got to expound on shit, but be clear. The most important thing, the most important thing in person in that TI topic is the child. Most important thing in this Kevin McCall topic is the child. Uh, I pray for them, man. I pray for Kevin. I pray for Eva. She's been dealing with this for a while. Um, he should watch Stevie J. Stevie J just got custody. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah, but you can for Stevie J. You know yeah, what? congratulations to Stevie J because it's, let me tell you something. It's not easy for a man. No, um, yeah, I've seen I've it. We seen it. Seen we know court systems yeah, we, we know set that. up against men when it comes to custody battles. Yeah, and sometimes, and sometimes, <clears throat> for people, I won't say women, but in my experience, sometimes for women, it's difficult to unblur the line of uh, parent and lover. Mm-hmm. So you get this intermangling of emotions in the separation and you get these disagreements and that's when these ugly, nasty court disputes start going on, which don't help a child at all. No. Um, yeah, look, Stevie J granted primary custody of child with Joc- uh, Jocelyn, Han- uh, Jocelyn Hernandez will not pay child support. Now, granted, he had to go through uh, a long process. Right. He had to go to court in multiple places he had to, because men normally get discouraged because we feel like there's no repercussion or recourse for the woman when when she want to act up. Mm. But the the courthouse will tell you, uh, just just make a note, just make a note. And while it don't sound like it's doing anything, one day if you get enough of the notes, right, this may be your outcome. I don't know why Kevin McCall is choosing to go a different route, uh, but like Maul said, it might be some deeper mental health stuff there. Yeah. So I want to keep Kevin Absolutely. McCall in our in our prayers and the family. <clears throat> One hundred percent, and not only that, a lot of times it'd be you know when the when one of the you know the guy still has some he wants to be with the woman and stuff like I seen you know I know some of my homeboys went through this and it's, they only act like this when they still want the woman. Mm. Wait, when uh okay, you know what I mean? Like they do dumb shit like this, and it's like, fam, this ain't even about the kid at this point, right? Like you, so you want her back, you right. know what I'm saying? And she doesn't want you, so but it's Eva like, has a whole new. Relationship that don't mean nothing. It's yeah. It that doesn't. mean he don't want her back. Oh no no, I'm, no I'm not saying that. Yeah, no, I know, I know. Obviously, she's moved on, and it's looking like he hasn't moved on. Is what I'm saying. And he's painting that in child related you know, yeah, issues. Like you, you start and you start acting out like this in the courtroom. Like, who is this for? Who are you doing this for? It can't be for your daughter. Because if you was going in there with the sole purpose of your daughter and wanting. To be with her and, and and spend more time with her, you would know how to conduct yourself in that building. That's a good point. Like that's just the bottom line. Like you was doing this, you went in there to put on the show. Or if you were I, able, I, he to. just being on right. Or, or Instagram if, live, if you were able in. to, yeah. Or if you were be. able to, or if you were able, it could to. be outside of his capacity at the moment. Yeah, mental capacity. Uh, that's what I said. That was the first but, thing I said. But, but, because, and this is where I empathize in a way that m- many probably will not trust you, me. <clears throat> Not seeing your child for a long time can potentially drive a man insane. Oh, absolutely. I can imagine that. It, it, it's true. You can, you can harbor a lot of resentment. Absolutely. And if you don't channel it properly, I won't say this is what it looks like when it comes out, but probably in the same ballpark. Mm-hmm. But which is why it's always important to keep in mind the children first. Because even in that, you know, you, you, you gain a lot of anger towards the, the you know your, your your girlfriend or your baby mother or your baby father you have to keep the kids in mind like this is you're trying to have a relationship with your kids it's not about having a relationship with the person you created a family with particularly about, in about the, the case child. of people in the public eye where this is now like on record 
Yeah, it's just not. And your daughter's she, but that, five years old. It's like yeah, five years old. You know what I mean? You don't want. They're able to comprehend certain things at that point. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They're able to feel energy and they know that something isn't right between mom and dad. So you just gotta you gotta pay attention to those things, man. You gotta be you gotta be careful of how you move in those. And again, I don't have kids, and I never went through this. Hope I never do. I can only, you know, speculate. Well, but you don't need you you don't need kids to know that, that you don't act like that in the courtroom. Absolutely, or in a court, a city official building. Period. A mm-hmm. and two. Well, do you want kids? Yeah, I do. Do you want kids, Parks? Yeah, Rory, one day. Absolutely. Without having them now. All of y'all know that y'all don't want the court deciding anything. Oh, no. Absolutely. That. <laughs> Honestly, that shit is scary. I've had so <laughs> that, many that, friends go through that. It's it terrifying. Oh, my God. I've, I've had so many friends go through that that sometimes that shit may be a barrier to not having kids. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, the fear of, damn, is this shit going to end up like this? I mean, unfortunately, Parks, and I'll just be honest and transparent it might. and speak from my own experience. What I've gone through has jaded me in relation to sure. wanting more kids. Like I, think, oh, I can see that for I sure. I think I started out, you know, I started out with, yeah, I want the football team. Right. I want 10. I want, give me five. Give me, right. if I can afford it, I would like a squad so they can grow up together. And mm-hmm. the, when you just start going through it, though, it's just, it's different from how you imagine. Do you want more kids? No. I think I'm done now. Okay. Two. It's a good number. I can't do it. I can't. In in my brain, (coughs) pardon me, in my brain, not my brain, but a lot of guys, I mean, y'all don't have kids, so y'all are probably the perfect people to speak to about this. Uh How do y'all picture it? Don't answer it. Mm -hmm. That's how most of us picture it. (laughs) (laughs) But when you actually get into the execution of it, and it's like eons away from that picture, and then you give it another shot, and it's Nowhere near that picture. How many shots do you want to give it to get to that picture? I feel you. Because unfortunately, that's not relying on just you and your beautiful child. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That could could be scary, though, when you said that, picture it. I don't know if it's the pessimistic part of my brain, but I've seen it go so bad so many times. I'm very aware that could still be an option. (laughs) Yeah. Whether it be personally, whether it be my friends, I've seen it go bad. No, of course, <laughs> so, it could be an option. So I don't sit here thinking like, no matter what, me and my child are gonna love. This is gonna be the no, 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 no. I said <laughs> no, 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 no. We no, we're not doing that. We yeah. know what the options are. That's why I said to picture it, because however you picture it for you, when mm-hmm. you have kids and how you would like it to be, is you're not thinking about those options. You want to try your best to avoid those yeah. options because we probably all come from those. <laughs> Options. Mm-hmm. Those pictures are the same for people. Yeah, I want I'm, I meet a girl. I want to fall in love. I want to form a union. Be be married. Both of us raise raise kids, family, house somewhere. Grow old. One of us dies. Somebody holds it down. Right. Yeah. It don't really. Ve- uh, uh, brain freeze. Fuck. It don't really detour from that much. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. I don't know, maybe we're getting too serious. I mean, I, listen, listen, in, in conclusion, in conclusion. <laughs> Conclude us, Rory. There is no hope, listeners. <laughs> <laughs> not for you, not for us, not for my oldest son, Trey. It's, it's, it's over for all of you. Yeah, there man. is no joy. <laughs> Fuck it. Well, that's pretty good because we ain't played outstanding in a while. Yeah, it's been a while. Wait, Charlie just ca- casually say that. <laughs> Wait, what did he just yeah, say? So Char- Charlie Wilson hit me on the text. Yo, can we please redo the industry rankings, please? <laughs> or just read Maul's text. I'm joking. Can we read Maul's text? <laughs> no, you, we wasn't joking. <laughs> Charlie Wilson hit me? Yeah, right. You have him saved as Uncle Charlie, too. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I can see it, yo, Maul. I couldn't get in touch with hip-hop. What you think about yeah. this? <laughs> Happy Saturday, y'all. Hey, old town boys. <laughs> hey.
He's waiting for the crowd. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Didn't mean to get so serious early on a Saturday, but we have that side, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> we can take it there. <laughs> the range. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yo, Elliot needs a new face in these pictures. <laughs> these, car, these, car, these car test pictures right here. <laughs> You're asking That's him to get face. a new face? <laughs> Only in the what, car. what are you asking? Only in the car test pictures. <laughs> Is it the car? I was watching him and I was watching Elliot and Westside. I didn't like Elliot's face when he was like, uh, "Yeah, man, I see you got, I see you got a uh, uh, currency spit on there. Tell me how that came about." I'm killing you. <laughs> I didn't like it. It's killing you. That's fine. <laughs> Elliot's one of the people I'll, I'll allow to do you, that. You on a couch? He was, I think, in a rolls when he asked that question. Mm. Changes everything. I'm not buying my rolls. No? Oh, thank, thank God. God. <laughs> I am not buying my rolls. Because of what? Um, no, not because of more. I just don't think... I don't think it's wise. <laughs> it's not. That's what we were trying to get at. <laughs> Are you going to get the Lambo instead? Yeah. Let, hold Some on. Light? Let, finish the sentence. <laughs> Before we give you an applause. Yeah, word. Because I am going to get that car. I'm just not going to get it no time soon. Which is fine. Because I don't feel I am protected the way that I should be today. And when I say protected, I mean my money. Yeah. It's foolish. Yeah. It is. I'm going to take that. I'm going to not buy a car. You can invest yeah. that money. I'm going to take money. that money and I'm going to buy a house. There you go. That's an investment. Yeah. Much, much smarter move. Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna, I'm, I'm fine. I'll Uber. It's then fine. a depreciating <laughs> asset that I'm, can't even take a pothole yeah, in right. the state, in the city that has the, to fix has that, the that, biggest potholes ever. I was ever. trying to say. Uh, yeah. yeah, but but deeper than that, deeper than not getting the calling in, I just feel good about making uh, smart decisions. Yeah. As I get older, you know what? That I shit know? is just a every target. time it's I interview target. these rappers Word. on the pull up. At least for ten minutes, I just stare at the jewelry. <laughs> yeah, it's, you, That's all I do. You do you why? notice that? You hear that first thing as I always say something about that jewelry? I stare at it and I think, you fucking idiots. <laughs> Not only that, a lot so of I can't shit. turn around and of, I can't turn is, around and go buy a cullinan. A lot of that shit is fake too though. That, That's the funny thing. I was gonna let Maul say it. Because I'm not a jeweler, but, but they're rappers a lot of that and shit entertainers, is fake. so no, they would never have on fake jewelry. But and don't granted, think that fake shit costs not, a couple dollars? It's still? not cheap no. fake shit. I was about to dollars. say fake shit ain't cheap. Yeah. No, not, not They at might all. not know it's fake. They might have paid full full ticket for it. It ain't it ain't <sighs> 30, 40, 50. Those Cuban all, gold fake lot, joints are fifteen. If you grand. pay a lot for fake jewelry, you're even a bigger idiot than buying fake jewelry. It happens every day, buddy. It's happening more. Yeah, well, no, I get it. I, yeah. People are stupid, but if you pay for expensive fake jewelry, like you're a super weirdo. Yeah. But somebody does need to buy me an AP for uh, Christmas. <laughs> I got you, bro. Well, Spotify wouldn't buy us our watches, so. <laughs> <laughs> Which is somehow going to turn into me giving away. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. Uh, hold on. Are we going to get ahead of ourselves here? You don't get ahead of us. Uh, yeah, don't get ahead of us because I'm looking at a new apartment. <laughs> let's, not, let's not get ahead of us. Yeah, you've been looking at a new apartment for a little while, man. What's up? Yeah, you having a hard time? He's chilling. He's smart. What, no, but yeah, what, are you looking, not what, are you, what are you looking for out there that you're having a hard time? Come on, it's Saturday, know. man. Nothing, we can talk about just, some real nothing, life shit. I'm not nothing, buying a cone in. You can't find a crib. What's no, going no, on? Nothing just... I haven't seen anything that just was like, this is it. But what are you right. looking for? To, to Nothing too crazy. Balcony... Oh, definitely. That's a must. Gotta have an outdoor. I would never move See, without an outdoor. Uh, already, you've made it difficult. <laughs> no, not yeah, really. Difficult? Not, no. no. Yes. What? Uh, There's mad at balcony we're, apartments. Fam, we're not in Miami. Y'all look crazy. It adds another grand to it when you want to have some that's outdoor shit. No, no, that's not entirely true. Oh, got it, got it, though. <laughs> no, I don't. It's oh. not entirely true. I've seen some <laughs> really nice... Tricking. I'm not even going to say neighborhoods, but I know some neighborhoods where I'm you can I'm not talking some... about the balcony where you could just maybe kind of fit. No, I'm yeah, talking about yeah. nice... But I've, I've <laughs> yeah. looked at... Me and Rem have looked no. at apartments with nice balconies. Did it that... fit five comfortably? Plenty of leg room? <laughs> maybe not, <laughs> maybe not five. Don't take it. Not with the leg room. You got to be able to put five on a balcony, though. Yeah. Yo. Could she do her laundry there? <laughs> I 
I was hyped when I wrote that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what makes it funnier. You know, and my sauna now can't fit five comfortably. <laughs> I can barely fit in Wait, that motherfucker. You have a sauna? Where? There's yeah. a sauna in the basement. I got a sauna in the basement. Oh, that's right. Yeah, white, white couch. Yeah, yeah, And I think probably three people could get in there. Leg room. With leg room. Okay. That ain't that big though. You can't put that. That's, you can't put that. That's also sauna fits yeah. three. <laughs> yeah, that don't, that don't, it don't hit the same. That ain't. It don't. Yeah. No. Yeah, no, but I, right. I just have a anyway. friend that just grabbed, like, that just felt like this is the one yet. So. It just screamed them all. Yeah, not yet. Yeah, take your time, bro. Yeah. I want to move into some shit. That's a, and that's where power tainted me because I'm keep. I know that they filmed that shit in the studio, but I'm looking for a crib like Ghost now. <laughs> with the bullet holes? And I was like that? With the bullet holes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, Something with a back door you could open? No, not with the bullet holes. Not, not with the <laughs> and, bullet holes. You want like Rory in the back? Kill Ian? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I want all of that. I want all of that. I need all of that. Okay. Yeah. That's bachelor shit. They don't make <laughs> yeah. that. Well, that's, for, that's, for that's, that's, that's the trash dollars. shit that you're lucky with, man. Hmm? When you get Yo, the, when you what they're the doing out here is robbery, by the way. I know this is not a real estate podcast. We can get into uh, it. How they are building this shit and oh. cutting these shits and it's selling these. It's unbelievable. Oh, it's nasty. It's unbelievable. leavable My, my business account today trying to get me to move to Atlanta. <laughs> Smart guy. I'll move to Atlanta, by the way. <clears throat> I would too. I wouldn't okay. do LA, but I'll do Atlanta. I would do Atlanta before LA any day. Any day. Yeah, I won't move to Atlanta. Three, or, three, or, three, I'll move to Atlanta. Or I could do Miami. Yeah, I would definitely. Taxes are uh, in our benefit in Miami. You could, I could go out there. Russ is out there and, and something nice and out uh, y- y- Y'all could live in the same crib. And roll up on SoundCloud rappers together. Atlanta's nice. I wouldn't be rolling up on SoundCloud rappers. But that's your that's your main guy. Yo, you know what's funny about no, that, that d- Russ song that he smoked? I should call Russ. None of, us would have, none of us would ever pick that beat. No, we shouldn't call Russ. But I did want to, before we move on to... Um, you hating. Who are... So. Uh, <laughs> before we move on out of the the uh, apartment conversation, I got a little beef with Maul, man. Why is that? Because Maul's Finally, now... Finally, join me. I've been, Maul, I've been trying to beef with him for years. Dave, you're going to jump Maul, Maul? Maul's taking his, his Spotify money and, and doing the same thing I did, find a new spot that's really nice, that get yourself a balcony, get, maybe a... A two bedroom, maybe a three. You only need one. Rory, don't get ahead of yourself. I mean, is this the Spotify money from Maul, or is this the block? Like, block of royalties. I'm, I'm not a block of fella. <laughs> you starting block of fella records? No, I'm not starting any records. <laughs> oh. So yeah, I, I I went and did that. Got a nice little patio terrace, whatever the fuck you want to call. It. I started putting lights, cir- like circling them around the gates and shit. Ooh, you did it, but you started get the torches, getting, like started oh, getting the final lap. This oh. ain't last lap. It's the final lap. So I started, I started buying <laughs> <laughs> just the final lap. It's a victory lap. Yeah, yeah. No, I thought so too. Th- this was my Michael Jackson. This is it tour. <laughs> yeah. Rory's Roy, getting ready for the kickback. Yeah. They, I see what then you lit your hair on fire. So yeah, right. <laughs> put uh, put the the couches out there. You mm-hmm. know. Mm-hmm. Put a nice little mini bar, regular shit, right? I gotta, I gotta go to Rory's house. house. <laughs> yeah. You so got the, the little so fireplace then I, shit? Then I, halfway through purchasing all of this and setting it up, I said to myself, why am I doing this? Because <laughs> that's what you I'm know. engaged. And Miraculously no. still. <laughs> Miraculously. <laughs> Somehow he's still engaged. Somehow. And I can't go to bar place. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta perform, pump it up. <laughs> I'm mad Maul gets to live like a bachelor with this Spotify money. I'm setting all this shit up for no one to come to my house. Oh, I'll be there. Now nah, that's where you go to vent though, so you should hook it up. Yo, girls don't tell you that. What time part, you got clothes? Like that you have to run <laughs> company by them. Club Deco, bring it back. <laughs> what time you got clothes? Two. Uh, three. It, well, Sam is a doorman, so okay. uh, <laughs> the sun goes down. What at five p.m. now? Yeah. Yeah, six. When the street lights come on, yo, <laughs> yo, now that I'm single and this is like far removed from Club Deco, like, can I no, get Club some De- credit? Can I get a little bit of credit for Club, Club Deco? Deco's nice. That's no. it. That's yeah. all. That's all oh, I want. I miss that. Nah, Total. Was, that's all total, I want. Total was lit. No, Total was the. Nah, that was Yeah, yeah. No, Club, Club Deco oh, was Edgewater. Yeah, it was Edgewater. some good nights up there. See, I missed that because that was the thirty dollar Uber, man. It was right there. That was nice. That's why I spend mad. You ain't you ain't they had Club no, Deco too. F- no, yeah. that was our competition. Yeah, yeah no, that's what I'm saying. That was a club next door. They that's had Boy Wonder mad. though, so. Yeah, well, we had them too. 
<laughs> yeah, he hopped over the gate sometimes. <laughs> By the way, the gate was about at my waist. Like you yeah, could just true. hop over it. That's true. Club Deco was right. Hey, for the listeners, we have no idea what we're talking about because we're horrible at telling y'all what we're talking about. Uh, my old crib in Edgewater, the deck up top at the roof. I put some lights out there, like Rory's talking about, some couches, some candles. I tried to set a little vibe, a little ambiance. No, no, try no. And it was a vibe. Yeah, but <laughs> you know what's funny about vibes? Like, in and, and hindsight, I'm able to recognize it. Mm. In hindsight, I'm able to be like, damn, we had a really good time, even with the compound. Yeah, in right, hindsight, right. I'm able to say, damn, yeah. I mean, that was nuts, but damn. Yeah. In the moment, you don't think about it. You really. might sleep on it. That's a fact. You do. You, you might sleep on it. That's a fact. The and by the way, Sam, man. I cannot wait to enjoy this patio and deck and everything I set up for the two of us. Eat hey, outdoors, you need a all that cute shit. A two week breakup. A two week <laughs> breakup. No, not in your crib. <laughs> <laughs> her, crib. Her things are there. Nice and they can stay. Yeah. That's, that's, that's fucking filthy. And they that can is stay. disrespectful as fuck. See, that, that, I be thinking I be saying courteous things. No, you don't have to pay for storage. Mm -hmm. Leave <laughs> leave the things here. Mm -hmm. You think they'll be mad at me? Yeah, Joe. If there's other women walking around, <laughs> oh that's a oh that's a great question for y'all. Have y'all have y'all ever put uh, a woman's belongings in storage? No, no. no. Y'all haven't done anything. What do you well, what I, do you consider storage? Yeah. I, is it your closet? Yeah, a box, a box <laughs> in, in the closet. Yeah, I've done a box in the closet. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's a fact. Yeah, her toothbrush has, has maybe no, moved. The, yeah. No, the storage company that a you have. A bag under the bed is storage. Have to pay. There might still be some shit in my, access in my parents' attic somewhere. I don't know how she get that off that on me. I really transport all that shit to storage. <laughs> like a doof. You're a nice guy, man. That shit was right 20, 2500 parts. That's my beef with women. My beef with women is that I'm a nice guy. Right. And I get trampled over. Yeah. <laughs> nice guys finish nice last. Guys always. We finish last. That's true. Always. That is true. Um, what would well, we hold on. I mean, how would you feel if you left during the two week breakup and she had dude coming through with your things there? Oh, I'm shooting it's, that whole I'm, shit. Yeah, up. I'm shooting yeah. my own crib up. Yeah. yeah nigga, I'm Tommy with the AKA ruining all my own shit. Yeah, don't touch my Pro Tools. <laughs> <laughs> but who said he was touching the stuff? Y'all don't, don't even want him in the presence. But that's kind of crazy. Fam, if, if it's my spot and you put your hand here. on the counter, you're touching my belongings. Yeah. He's inserting himself in your girl. He's doing more than touching your, your belongings. belongings. <laughs> <laughs> he's fucking your belongings. He's, more raw. He's, he's, <laughs> he's spraying up your she belongings. She would never. <laughs> 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 but why women don't know that we're not taking them back after that? No, nah. <laughs> it's over after that one. But that's but hold up. So if you got caught cheating, oh. hold on. Listen, if you got caught cheating, I did, and your girl says, <laughs> <laughs> "Well, she uses that word. I don't call it that." <laughs> and your girl says, "Back to that trade thing <laughs> about women misinterpreting your world's you. upside down." Yeah. <laughs> no. You know, if you get caught cheating, well, and, and my world is sideways. My world's a little Jamiroquai. <laughs> People ain't gonna catch that. That's nah, cool. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> They're not gonna catch that one. I was there with you. Yeah. I was Thank there in the ninety. Um, <laughs> and you, you get caught cheating, and, and, and your girl says, "I'll take you back, but I got to get a whole pass. Like I got to go cheat from one night." Uh, which wait? Oh, did you, I'm about to say which hall you want to go and go dance and all. No, no, no. <laughs> no they want to go There's out. Jazz the band somewhere. Would you? Would you? Would you do it? I mean, more if you look at it, if two of us doing something wrong, how is that going to move us forward in our mm, relationship? Two wrongs to make a right. Yeah, like I'm with you. If if you saw that as an option that was so bad, you doing it, how does that rebuild us? And let me I'm just jump you. in real quick. Rappers, it's over for all two wrongs don't make a right, but it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's kill that. Yeah, it's over now. Y'all was saying what? <laughs> and what's the sample they always use? <laughs> If if she's wrong, I don't want to be right. <laughs> What's that record that's been sampled forty five thousand times? I don't know, but Fab did thirty thousand of them. <laughs> <laughs> Fab been wrong before. Yeah, if being wrong means being without you. I'd rather go on without living life. That that sample needs to be dead. Fab right. on the gram looking like me and Caitlyn. The new you and Caitlyn. <laughs> Was you and Caitlyn before Instagram? No. No, I think that's where they made their name. <laughs> they, they made a splash. I, feel like that was, I think that was their first album. I feel like that was. Oh my! That was their debut. You thought that was Photo Bucket? Yo, we got some really cool <laughs> topics. Photo Bucket. <laughs> you that was all the Photo Bucket. No. no, they weren't. I think I know Maul's answer to your own question. Oh, the whole pass question. Hall pass. Hall pass. Hall pass. Hall pass. Hall pass. Stay with him. Hall pass. Do I have any input in the whole pass? Oh no, we can't control anything. I forgot. Damn it. No, because you. <laughs> no, but it's, it's my pass. In this scenario, you you got caught cheating. So she's like, okay, 
I'll I'll take you back. No, 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 no. You got to be the same girl. <laughs> <laughs> the same girl I cheated on is the same one I won. <laughs> That's a fact. Joe, how are you? You, you, you can't. No, yeah, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I just don't. I'm not signing up for yeah, your change I don't, I don't because I changed. Yeah, I have nope. no idea why Joe is single. Yeah. Like, I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, nah, fuck that. Fuck that. I'm kidding right now. I know you way. are. Fuck that. You know, I'm uh, saying, I'm the public Joe never knows I'm, I'm kidding. I'm with Joe on that, though. All of this is jokes, yeah. Sam. Yeah. Um, <laughs> The balcony, Don't every, everything I said. Oh, please. We've had arguments off air about taking it to the next level. I'm just trying. <laughs> <laughs> you got to put your neck out there a little bit? Yeah, that's all. Sam is mad understanding, though. Yeah, she she's is. dope. Sam I want an understanding girl. She's understanding <laughs> Why, why they don't understand you, bro? They do at first. <laughs> They be fronting. <laughs> they be tricking jokes. <laughs> have y'all, have, uh, <laughs> no, I understand. Am I the only nigga that's out here getting tricked? No. Oh, okay. No, no, no. Right. It's actually yeah, a whole. No. It's an occupation. All right, good. You're just employed. Um, speaking of that topic, have y'all ever fucked a married chick? <sighs> did y'all answer the whole pants question? I did. I'm tired of y'all I said no. breezing over. Nah, I said no. Bro, I gave a whole. No uh, gave a yeah, whole no. sentence. I think I'm down. Yeah, I'm down. I'm in the kinky shit though. Oh, okay. I'm in the kinky. kinky. I, keep, I keep telling y'all I'm in the kinky shit. You some niggas smashing the queen? Yeah, maybe. You gonna be a cuck? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Joe's gonna cuck it up, man. <laughs> nah, bro, you tripping. Cuck, cuck, cuck it up. <laughs> cuck, cuck. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't. I don't cuck, like being vulnerable cuck, here. Cuck, cuck it up. Cuck, just by, cuck, just by the way, you say cuck, cuck, the word up. on. Yo, <laughs> I can tell you in a kinky <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> just the way you verbalize the word that's two letters, yeah. O and N. Yeah. I can tell you in a kinky shit. Put an A and a W in there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's about to get on. Nah, that's a kinky motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> he said, "What, Rory?" <laughs> on. Yo, everybody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you came to get it. What the hell? Look, I thought they I got niggas, hypnotic. I thought, other niggas, spot. I thought other niggas were kinky too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Who came to get it on? <laughs> uh, Who came to get it on with my queen? <laughs> <laughs> so you said you may be into some kinky shit Cause I might be Nah you ain't into that nigga. How, you, I, how, I how do you yell like know. fat man scoop about fucking your own girl <laughs> <laughs> Yo Rory is laughing right Actually I got a few points to make about Rory real quick Oh god <laughs> just, just the other day Rory told me That he don't feel comfortable coming to the podcast And sharing shit cause all we do is shit on him Yeah and, that's a fact And every time he says that to me <laughs> I think to myself <laughs> That, that is exactly what he does. Every time I try to get vulnerable here, and this is one of those occasions. We all shit on each other, by the way. No, it, this podcast is only comprised of y'all three shitting on me trying to do a good job here. That, that's the magic. <laughs> that's the magic, buddy. And I know you joking. That's the magic. <laughs> that is the, that's magic. the magic. Wait, I had another point. Oh, bong. This was my other point uh, to get to about Rory. Rory, by his own admission, and I'm in this club, too. I don't remember if Park said he was in this club, but by our own admission, we have gotten cheated on before in our lives and yeah. asked the women to tell us what happened. No, I, I've said on this podcast, I've never been cheated on. And you laughed at me when I said that in my vulnerable moment. As if you know I've been cheated on. <laughs> <laughs> You've definitely been cheated on, right? Hey, sorry. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. I, All right. Well, I said we got to bring it to you. laughing at a nigga when he said I've never been cheated on. <laughs> <laughs> so back to, back to his original point. Hey, 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 I don't want to be vulnerable hilarious. on this podcast. That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> no, I said whatever. It was a couple oh, no, episodes ago when you asked that question. And I said, to my knowledge, no. I'm Yo, not saying that I haven't. All right. You stop talking now because we just bumped into a nugget of content here. <laughs> I still want to know who fucks married chicks, but we'll take no, that. No, no, we yeah, we'll, get, we'll to that. get to that right yeah, next. We'll to that. Okay. I would like the room to react to Rory we, saying we he's reacted never to it. No, Parks and Rory, uh, Parks and Mall has. I want to ask the room. Erickson, how do you feel about, about Rory saying he's never been cheated on his life? Sure Erickson says he's sure it's happened. Savon, how do you feel about it? I'm in the same boat. Yeah, sorry, bro. What do you consider cheating? No, no, no. Hold up. That Guys, I'm, I'm not. Do you consider? Yeah, no. Like, he's moving the goalposts. You no. know what cheating is? No, I think that he's been <laughs> cheated on. Yeah, you know what cheating is. If Say, your girl's no, no. in the club Say singing another dude, girl has cheated. cheated on him. I don't know him. what. what? <laughs> in front of him. <laughs> she, she dedicated music to the nigga and everything. <laughs> Fucking Savon talking about. <laughs> Scream, man. How you feel about what Rory's saying? Scream, man. I met you last week. 
I met you hey, last week. I'm with giving you props. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yo, Rory is. He was shooting you bailed. You shit on the I don't know his first name. <laughs> it's Phil. <laughs> it's not Phil. It's not Phil. <laughs> Yo, the funny but shit now is, it's Phil. The, fu- the funny shit fans have been asking me what is Screen Man's name. No, I don't it's Phil. know either. It's Phil. Though. <laughs> Fucking no. It's Andrew, right? No, it's not Andrew either. <laughs> Alex? Oh my bad. I thought Alex. It was I was right. I had the letter right. Wait, what is the it? Right. Alex. What's his name? Alex. Alex. I'm not calling him Alex. <laughs> no, it's, it's Phil. His name. It's Phil. It's Phil. Your black it's ass Phil. got that white ass name. <laughs> hey, now what's this? What's Oh, now we got. Ah, your parents thought you were gonna be ill. <laughs> <laughs> Alexander yeah, no, Yo it's, Rory it's is Phil. about to be 30 years old And he believes He's never been cheated on Like that is like this no, he said, he I, he said, I didn't say know. that I said I don't know to Well his, what do you believe knowledge. Maybe You know women are pretty sneaky right Yeah, yeah. Look he won't even He won't even commit it to himself Maybe <laughs> But Parks is right though What do you consider cheating Like your girl Sending nudes to another guy Is to me cheating Yeah I feel like all my chicks have cheated. They just called me on it first. <laughs> I think that's part of what cheating is, though. Like, what? It's it's just calling somebody on it first. Like, yeah, yeah. that's sick. That's true, though. It's like that's a, a reality. <laughs> yeah, that's fucked up. It's like it's like you got to call the right book on the renege. Yeah. <laughs> like which one? You might fuck up. It's that one. Uh, it wasn't her. <laughs> Been dead at her. <laughs> that's uh, a fact. I think for sure in that you know that weird time when y'all together but breaking up. Oh, yeah. I know for a fact yes. it's getting oh, crazy. I don't know anything about that. that yeah. We can't even count that. That's like we know that that yeah. happens then for yeah. sure. Yeah. That's and, not cheating. And you, really. and you know the guy. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, he, uh, he, it's one of your friends. He, he dapped you at the corner store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, a fact. He's the best ball player in the world. Joe. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Joe. Rewind it. Joe. Then. No, that's good. No, no, no. no. Joe Come on. I don't Joe think LeBron. Said, no, you know the it. guy. I don't think LeBron did anything. <laughs> <laughs> Steph ain't do nothing you like know. that. You know He's that. He's only the best. <laughs> he only won the last three chips. <laughs> Carmelo is married. Yeah. Hey, he's only the unanimous MVP. <laughs> Do you know? Do him? you know the guy? Yeah, I know. Hey, Rory, you just had to worry about Craig from <laughs> fucking Jewett, <laughs> nigga. Craig, I mean, I'm out here with the sharks. <laughs> Craig was ill. Oh hey. my god! Holy oh, shit. yo, this is the greatest podcast do you, do you in the know world. Him? Do you do know, you, him? nigga? You know, him. I just put five hundred laundry on his jersey. <laughs> I just put five hundred <laughs> laundry. <laughs> hey, I was, I, I was just, campaigning to come to my team. His Nikes and his jersey. I just traded for that nigga. Fuck are you talking? About. Do I know him? Do I, I love him? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's no. my guy right there. The league. What a stand up guy. She better treat him right. Yes, she better treat him right. <laughs> Do I know him? <laughs> Do I know him? It's hilarious. Do I know him? Do I know him? I'm trying to trade a fantasy uh, for him right now. Yeah. Or do I know him? Fuck it. He's about to uh, come back and give Kawhi the fix. He's on a tear. <laughs> he's going to tear Kawhi ass up. Oh, yeah. Keep him, keep it him ain't healthy. Just, it ain't just me worried. <laughs> <laughs> Take that, Paul George and them. <laughs> that is hilarious. Yo, we are fucking idiots. All right. <laughs> now, order in this pod. I'm kidding. We all are. Those are all yes. jokes. Jokes. Damn, that's funny. <laughs> when this podcast come out? Saturday. Oh, Saturday. Right. Okay, hey, buddy. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what were we talking <laughs> Well, how does that make you feel? <laughs> Yo, I was driving in the rain to find J.R. Smith. <laughs> <laughs> Look who you looking for. Yo, <laughs> Yo no, you're not understanding. No, I understand. That's my nigga right now, yeah, too. No, That's my guy. Yeah. But I was enlarging pictures <laughs> looking at the signs. <laughs> no, I know that grass. <laughs> that grass. <laughs> yes. Well, what y'all want me to do? Yeah. Uh, Stop and watch no. pictures looking at blades of grass. Uh, no, nah, the blades of grass. I was recognizing parking signs. I know where they parked. Yeah, that is I'm right here behind you, ma. Mama. <laughs> that is some funny shit. Anyway. Holy Jesus. shit. God man. damn, that's great. Oh, man. I got at least 40 more minutes on this same time. <laughs> I, was, I was really hoping we weren't going to get to it. No, no, no. We out here. We out here. We ain't even played a Rust shit. record. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me find this Rust record. Hold up. Y'all are stupid. That was funny as fuck, man. <laughs> Do I? 
He's, he's on a fucking tear. Oh, yeah, well, I mean, he's the man, man. <laughs> what are you talking about? His Achilles is his torn. Oh man, ain't the only thing. <laughs> All right, listen. Back to this rust. I would pick that beat. It's a no, you it, It's a bad flip of. I got five on it. <laughs> it's a bad flip of what? I got five on it. It's Boy Wonder. I think I actually did that. Oh. Let that play. I didn't hear that, Rory. Come on, A and Rory. <laughs> Greatest, wait, wait, where's Rory's ear rank, man? <laughs> <laughs> not, not better than Puffs. <laughs> nah, it couldn't be. Damn, no, that I, just made this shit a lot harder the, to me. That's what's the name? That's the what it is. Ho. So, yeah. What's up? Same squeaks. What's up? Yeah. Uh, 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 yeah I do not think that this is the same beat as that. I think well, I no, think that, that's, that's the same. That's, 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 I think anybody would pick that some cut beat. But that's it, though. That's it. Though. All right, hold up. <clears throat> Where's that? The knuck if you buck squeaks. Oh, I'm in the wrong section. I got y'all right now. Yeah, Mo, I don't, I don't agree with that. I'm gonna play it and we getting off this. But uh, that was boy wonder. Anybody pick this beat? It's that. With that other Same squeaks Before a word is said On this record <laughs> You're picking this beat <laughs> Any rapper <laughs> uh, Any rapper This beat gonna get Yo Thank god you didn't get this beat <laughs> Whatever you wanna talk about <laughs> But my point about This Russ record Is in just song making Like this is like The perfect example Of Making A song That's what I mean My point ain't about Whether y'all pick the beat or not The beat is not Fucking The Benjamins Right, it's uh, a good beat, but that's part of being a great artist, though. That, yeah, that, and that, that's what I'm saying. I'm dick eating right now, but <clears throat> no, we get it. You you like him? <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, I'm just saying. I'm a huge fan of song creation. I am, and I guess that's why I come in here and sound like a hater most of the times with the songs because I come in here talking from the standpoint of creating a song. What you? Uh, this is just a great job at creating a song. I'd have no idea who Bia is. She smoked that verse. No, the song, the song Russ, is good. Russ, the song is good. Start line and end line, cadence, uh, flow, singy. Like he made this song. Like Yeah, I'm not gonna play it because I we I dick wrote Russ enough last week. But uh kudos. Great song. And and that's without Rihanna uh, co-signing it. <laughs> you giving, uh, you giving twenty five hundred that song? I could probably, you can definitely trick this. That is a great strip club record. I can fuck this song. I can fuck this song. Great strip club record. Yeah. No, I meant in, well. I don't know where you do that, but I was talking about in the strip club when I'm fucking. <laughs> While no, you're fucking, you no. dish out the twenty five. <laughs> Here, hold this. <laughs> hey, what, what? That was Ross that asked the chick in, in a song. Uh, you ever made love in a million dollars? Right? <laughs> you yeah. ever made love twenty five hundred? All right. We're, Ross, we're, Ross we're, also said she could die on my dick and live through my rhymes. I felt him. <laughs> I knew he was trying to take the culture with that line. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what verse of yours you feel like that about? I don't. <laughs> I don't. I don't have verse. None. Joe, no. I'm sorry. All right, J Bone. Thank you. <laughs> All right, Ma. Uh, nope. I would fuck a marriage chick. I wouldn't. I I used to say I wouldn't until I did, and then I didn't care anymore. Quick question: What if the married chick is someone that you dealt with in the past, and she just happened to get married? I said yes before that, so yes, yes, <laughs> double, double yes. Yeah, I'm doubling down on the yes. I just, I and this is only a conversation that. because Maul says he would not. I repeat, would not. What if you were saving her? Sleep with a married woman. Hmm? What if you were saving her? Saving her from her marriage? Yeah. Nah, that's ways to go about. I that. see. I can't understand that from Maul because with that would be the best casual sex. She wants nothing from you. She wants no, you not to talk to her. Yeah, you should no, be out here. But you can <laughs> like, find that. But see, you can find that with single women and women that's just dating like somebody else. Like marriage to me is like because now, however serious that and that man takes his vows, and once he knows that, like now you're opening yourself up for like a whole different level of like confrontation. You know what I'm saying? Like, and well, I don't. Well, you're like, thinking it's sick. 
Am I thinking it's sick? I I'm think just, so. I'm just telling you, like, if a, if a married, like, once a man has married a woman and, like, took vows before God and his family was present, her family and all this, and then finds out that you're sleeping with his wife, like, we see it all the time. Like, I'm not... Ma, like, I see that, go I see that with, with men that aren't <laughs> even in a relationship with a woman. That's, that's true as well. That's my but then, but then, But yeah. then that's just, they're just bugged out for that. Like, they're just like, all right, he's with. But, that's, but that's, man, that's why... You have logic to bugged out. Wait, time out. That's why I'm saying you're bugged out. Why? Because you're gauging uh, how that man, uh, the how that man may feel and how that man may react based off an action, mm-hmm. the marriage. Without that marriage, that man could still have that the propensity to uh, want to react if somebody does something to his wife, but you just wouldn't know that because you're not gauging that way because they're not married yeah. and that's sick. Mm-hmm. Well, no, but it's not sick. He just said uh, if, if that's not even a dude's girl. He just likes her or dated her before. Like we see cases where chicks have crazy ex boyfriends. Yeah, and they see them with somebody else. They want to fight the dude. They want to shoot the dude. I'm saying that what I'm saying is the level of crazy with men does not bear a union with a woman. No, not like you're you're still going to get a crazy guy on every level. I understand. I understand that part. But what I'm saying is, I can the guy that took those vows and you know he this is his wife like family and they live together like. So you, res- you respect but marriage. Not, but boy, yeah, boyfriend, absolutely. girlfriend is fair game. Yeah, that's fair game. I oh, know, you're bugging. Yeah, that's fair game. You, you don't even know how long you want to be with this nigga. Once you marry, it's like, you feel like this is gonna, your life partner right here. And are you respecting Are you respecting God or the state? No, like, I'm, I'm curious I'm, what the union that you're I'm respecting. I'm respecting their, relate, their, their bond. Like, but some people don't even want to get married. They'll be boyfriend and girlfriend and have that same oh, union. Nah, nah. <laughs> if you, I'm talking about if you're married. If you took that step to go get married and have a marriage, like... Have a wedding and all that. What about a common law marriage? Where does that fall? Nah, married. Period. I'm not. I'm not fucking. Like if they were together in the same if, house for yeah, seven like years. What if they like, went to Vegas so and it didn't really count? See now you're moving to go. <laughs> no, we're <laughs> not. We're just not. trying to figure out where different you marriage scenarios. Line. Any any woman that's married, I'm I'm cool. Uh, what if they have an open relationship? Mm. Oh, then that's different. You swinging? I don't know if I'm a swing, but that 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 is different now. If they're knowingly sleeping with other people, like. Um, I would start asking like, Why are y'all even married At this point <laughs> yeah. Like why are y'all even married What's the point Of being married And being Oh just many Tax Tax uh, yeah. Benefits There you go Maybe Some chicks a just good have partnership. Those weird goals Where like I have to be married Before I'm 30 So I'm just gonna marry The dude that Seems nice Maybe uh, I, don't, just, I don't even want to be with women that think like that. A lot of women think that way That's why I'm saying You putting so much stake Into this uh, union Between the state <laughs> I'm just saying, marriage, I try not to... I'm what if they're married. married still, but are going through a divorce? Man, I'm married, pussy fire, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now going, that's going it's, it's better oh, when there's something to lose. That's different. If they going through a divorce, then it's like, it's over. Well, okay. What are you talking about, man? We fucking these married I'm business. talking about married together, happy? Nah, I ain't doing that. Sorry. They're happily married. Both they're happily married. Maul they're ain't tricking. Maul's not... All right, whatever. I'm done with Maul. Maul's not doing a lot of shit. I just don't pay for sex, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. You know, you don't pay for the date. <laughs> nah, that's not true. Ah, there we go. All right, so you will pay for a date. I said that. That's Trey not, been trying to ask this nigga for that. months. I admitted that. I've that. tried to find mad fancy ways that. to say it. He I did was say talking about. Nah, he said that from Rip. I'm not. No, cheap. he did not. not. What he trick. said was, if a, if a chick is my girl, I have no problem paying for anything. And my question to that was, what about in courtship? Yeah, and I said, the moment you leave your house, you spend money. I'm not talking about spending money. I'm got talking it. about right. handing a woman money. All right, I got it. I got it. No, no, cash app. <clears throat> no, I'm not. Are you, uh, you're, you're a fan of Meek Mill. I think you've said on record. Yeah. Absolutely. Meek said he'd give, he given the rent money right away. If she's. That's not true. He said if she's <laughs> solid. If she's solid. And grounded. Right. Yeah. I'm with Meek. It's cool. It got Save All very excited. He said, I can't wait to get to that level. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, we're looking at the retweet. I got to get. I got All right. So you just paying her rent if she's not solid or has any potential. Ah, uh, you want to be able to pay her rent. Savon, Sa- Savon, it's always a choice. <laughs> you don't have to pay it. <laughs> it's just... No, some tricks, see, that's the thing. Some tricks don't feel like it's a choice. They feel like they have to. His girl was paying his rent. Thinks <laughs> <laughs> I want to get to that level. You're not doing that now, God damn it. I know one that she's making playlists. <laughs> no one that she making playlists. <clears throat> All right, come on, somebody say something. What are we talking about? I don't know. I'm done with you and your marriage lies on the podcast because you don't I'm want not gonna the plethora of women, woman man. I'm not doing to that. Hear you. I'm sorry. I'm finished with more. That's just me. Yeah, it's, me. It's, a, it's a bunch of single women out here. What I will say is that there is a stress. There's a there is a 
if you if you to Rory's point, if you're in the right situation where you're fucking someone that you should be fucking that's married, whatever, uh, where that could be a stress reliever because they have a situation like Rory said, they're not thinking about you, they're not trying to fall in love with you. Mm-hmm. Stress relief on the way. <laughs> Twenty five. <laughs> Request denied. Yo, can I just tell y'all? I hate these podcast fans that take a joke too. They far. request twenty five from you every day, oh. man. Fam, they're heathens in the Instagram comments. <laughs> Under like famous women, <laughs> like, <clears throat> yeah. like stop talking to famous women about them selling vagina for twenty five hundred dollars <laughs> and adding me saying ha ha. <laughs> Well, how how successful are these women in their fame? They're women. They don't that need twenty five, fam. We are joking here, and even if we're not joking, we're talking to men. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we can fuck around and just and, say some shit, and we're joking. We're joking. We all here. <laughs> this res- is all we jokes. Respect women, and would never like. Come on, fam. Don't put that sauce on me. Definitely. It's nastiness. Yeah. yeah. Jesus. Anyway, yeah, you can relax. Yeah. Um, all right, where are we at? Maul's a liar. <clears throat> the rest of us would do it. Parks, you a fucking married chick? You said you have, right? Yeah. Right. Been there. That's not dry snitch. I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't feel great about it, you know? Because <laughs> of, of the union. Because of the union. <laughs> Fuck a married chick. <laughs> are we leaving that old rant we just went on in there? Yes. Yeah, that, that was funny. That was that hilarious. Was funny. <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> but it was jokes, and these people just don't know when jokes are jokes. All right, come yeah, on. Is that, it's well, fine. It, that might be against Maul's code. Uh, you know about the code. Yeah. Got to respect the code. The code. What's more, well, they're not respecting the code out there, but what's don't, more? Oh, yeah, don't fuck yeah. married girls. Well, that's kind of my point. Is the code still exist? No. Do, do codes still exist? Yeah. Just not many people abide by them, but they still exist. For sure. How do they, how if people don't abide by them? It just means that a lot of people just don't have codes anymore, but they still, that doesn't mean that they don't, they don't exist. What are some of the codes? Well, here's they dis- they disappeared when you had to talk about them because codes are to go without saying. <laughs> now we have to talk about them. Yeah, some, yeah. some codes are unwritten codes. <laughs> code too. is you, my man. I'm not gonna fuck your girl. That's Correct. code. That's codes code, without right? saying. Or that's your code. mother. That's code. Fam, well, I don't even listen, man. Nick, <laughs> that's how to, that's how we got on this. That, that, that is, whole we need to publish the book of of, of, yeah. of penalties for for violating the codes. I think that if we put that book out. The niggas are it's usually about an ass whooping. Viol- 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 you know how you know how they put points on your license when you speed or do that shit. That yeah. needs to happen in real life with men. Yeah, fucking your mother is that's there's a lot of other points. men should see if you have fucked a mom, like your friend's mom. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. fucking not moms a mom. Is fine. Fucking moms is hard. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Especially when they have to go because they didn't get a babysitter, and it's like, oh, that was an easy step. <laughs> Save me a conversation. Yeah, the struggling moms and toss it. <laughs> Yo. Yeah. No, the best thing about the single mom is she has a period of time. To toss it. <laughs> she has to get this done now, and then she has to go. And clearly she's good at it. Yeah, she knows what it is. Yeah, exactly. She don't have time to do the back yeah. and forth. Like, tell me about your dream. What's your five-year plan? She don't got time for that. Her five-year plan is her kid getting to 10. She yeah. ended up with the kid because she was bad at it. Chicks that got one cereal box up in the cupboard. <laughs> <laughs> Mo- hey, right, let me, hold on. Let's go further with Maul's morals. Have you ever have you ever ate, have you ever ate a kid's snacks? Wait, you uh, only got the snacks? cocoa puffs. You fucking. <laughs> have you, you ever got... ate ate a kid's snacks out the cupboard when he was? <laughs> all right, so he won't. Fu- all right, what, all right. I just want to know where your morals land. Yeah, it's a whole box of fruit snacks in there from Costco. It's like forty packs. <laughs> I'm high as fuck on this couch. You think I'm not snatching one of those? <laughs> Definitely Yo. taking that. Maul, how many times have you just been? This is my special friend, Maul. <laughs> oh, man. Like, he's ran into the living room. Yeah. I've been that a lot. That's cool. Yeah. I've been there, too. I was, I wanted to, I want. I don't know how to do it, but I wanted to repost that uh, video of Omarion just dancing so graciously through all the, <laughs> through all the noise. <laughs> in his kitchen? Where happy. Was he in the kitchen? I think he was in his kitchen. Oh, he was moving, moving. Uh... <laughs> through rumors of Jay Book. I'm not even going to repeat what these rumors say. I didn't like it when it was uh, when we had to talk about it with Delonte West all them years ago, and you niggas is nasty. Yeah. I just think that certain shit is tasteless. And yeah, fucking someone's mom is tasteless, for sure. <laughs> well, no, I won't say that, but talking about it. Oh, my bad. 
talking nah, about it. No, fucking your man's fucking mom your is mom is crazy. That's <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not talking say. about it or not. That's nuts. <laughs> yeah, it's that's crazy. Insane. You can keep it silent. You still nasty. hundred <laughs> percent. I don't think so. What? All right, fam. You can't fuck your homeboy's mother, man. Absolutely I mean, not. I disagree with that. Why though? Why do you disagree with that? Why do you think that that's okay? Well, I take it back. I take it back. Did you treat her nice? <laughs> After the cuckold I conversation, I don't know. I take it back. I'm not shocked that you're not your, not your homeboy's mom. But why I said that is I have had, uh, let's say like my 25-year-old women friends, their moms have flirted. Mm-hmm. Now, what would y'all say to that? Flirting and actually uh, no 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 no, no. I mean I mean trying to toss well, it. that's what I'm saying. I'm probably the closest friend you have to 25. So now I'm, I'm trying to figure <laughs> out what the fuck you trying to say right now. Damn, he's on his Jay Leno. <laughs> like I seen you and my mom like your talking mom, it up at the engagement party. Your mom sent four shepherds pie to this nigga doorstep. <laughs> <laughs> you know what four shepherds? Seen y'all getting cozy over there. No, I wouldn't do that to Jake. Fuck with Jake. Um, man, I love words, mom. That's not what I'm saying. How do y'all feel? How would, would y'all feeling? Would your stance change if that was the case? Because no. yeah, you can't. Fuck, no, not at all. You can't fuck your homeboys, mom. It's your homeboy. Yeah. Absolutely not. <laughs> I'm wondering why this is but even y'all a conversation. Not, but y'all are not saying that you can't fuck uh, or be intimate with a 50 year old mom. No, oh, no, 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 of course not. Go for it. And I want to do a callback. I want to rewind to a topic I brought up months ago that I was really shocked on you guys' uh, response to. But Amarion is why some older people say you're not supposed to leave your significant other and your friends alone in the house while you're not there. All of y'all said y'all didn't understand that. All of y'all said y'all are fine with it, and I left it alone. If it's my friend, like my homeboy. Well, you have to know your friends. You have to know your friends. They were never friends then. Uh, You have to know your friends. You fucked my baby mother. You was never my friend. You have to know which friends are... This is just a situation that... Then then I was just wrong, because I thought you was my friend. Yeah, you're not my friend. You fuck my baby mom's nigga. I know, but there's no way to find out that you are wrong until you okay, are, which is why some older people say that's also, you're not supposed to do that. That's, that's, a, that's also it. a horrible way to live with your friends. You have I, to know I don't want to run around. No, it's not. Friends. How often are you even in that position where you have to leave your girl and your friends alone? How much time are we talking? And they, yeah, they all lived in different like, houses. Like they time. <laughs> like time. Like, like hours. Hours some is hours. what I'm saying. Yeah. Hours. Because that's the only... In this scenario that we paint, if I'm saying, yo, you feel comfortable leaving your... Yeah, that's you saying, I'm leaving you here with this person in the, in a house, and I'm out for some hours. How often is that happening? Like, I consider myself somewhat of a paranoid person, naturally, but I still don't want to live my life thinking... the. F- I have a tight circle now that these people will betray me that way, just running around, that's how I have to think. I'd be nervous just to step out the house, let alone leave my girl around them. Y'all are crazy. Fantasy. Not even so much. Like, not even so much about the, uh, the dude standpoint. Forget about the dude and the friendship. We've heard a million stories of uh, a spiteful woman. Yeah, but it, listen. So why do y'all think you, that? You because I, man, because so I why do you my think in spite are, a woman would do it? Nah, listen. All right. If you, I, have, if you if you my homeboy, my nigga, like you you my man. Which is speculation. And you have and you have a a, a baby mom or whatever. Like you should definitely feel comfortable leaving me, and like I'll shit on your baby mom if she throw me some pussy. I'm that type. I think of we were talking about. We, you just changed it by saying baby mom. You just talking about a girlfriend. Oh, well, girlfriend, either way, period. It don't matter how spiteful. Yeah, it don't matter how spiteful yeah, or horny she, she is. Throw some pussy at me, nigga. I'm I'm gonna embarrass her. Yeah. Like I'm that type of friend. Like I don't. It's fam. It's so many women out here. I'm not fucking my homeboy's girlfriend. I'm with you. I'm not. Yeah, doing that's, that. I'm that's, with you. It's gross. Yeah. I think men are full of shit. And I think in a, in, a, in a split second, it could go from that to they in the streets. Nah, hell no. <laughs> then you was never my friend. You was never really my friend, bro. Either okay. we was using each other for whatever that was going yeah. on, but you was never my friend. Like, I'm never looking at my friend's girlfriend. Like, that's, that's not... That's, that's weird I'm not shit. doing that. Like, that's crazy to me. Like, that's why okay. when niggas do it, I'm like, fam, y'all was never, y'all was never friends. I'll put it this way. I've fallen out with friends... And still wouldn't do it. I'm not doing that, man. Yeah. I'm sorry, bro. I'm it's not still doing nasty that. to me, even if we're not friends. I'm not True. doing that. I can't. I can't. I can't be a piece of shit because she's she's a piece of shit. Right. And she threw me some pussy. She was horny in a moment, and like, I'm, I'm not doing that. Hell no. I will embarrass your girl. Like you will walk into the but house you will. and be like, "Yo, your bitch in here throwing me pussy." And I'm I'm with you. This is my last question on this topic, and we can move on. 
but your man's straggler is you will fuck her. What do you mean straggler? Wait, what your, you mean? Like a, a, a your a, man's a piece, loosey a, goosey. Yeah. I don't I don't want to be de- de- demeaning. Yeah, but you know what I'm, you know what I'm saying. It's like no, but, but a, we, non, a non wifey. Yes, even yeah. I, even I find that a yeah, little it's weird, a little weird too. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, when I was Depends younger, I situation. remember when my when my friends would be like, "No, nah, you gotta try that and pass it." In those days, I even I felt uncomfortable then. Yo, and there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We are changing the name of this podcast to the Moral Ground. <laughs> no, it's not. Moral. Welcome to the Moral Ground. It's, it's, well, <laughs> it's, it's just a little. It's morals. It's all just, of us just, have just so many girls yeah. out here. I don't think yeah. niggas realize how many women are out here walking around. Like, why are you sleeping with your homeboy's girlfriend? Or why are you sleeping with your homeboy's baby mother? Or why are you and your homeboy sharing a girl? Like, it's a, it's a million women out here. Literally. But it depends on the situation. Yeah, but it's it entirely thousand, depends it's on the situation. It's a thousand dumbs. There's only one of me. Nah. <laughs> nah. I'm, I can't do it, bro. No? I'm stupid. <laughs> All right. I can't do it. All right. Um, Fine, Amara, just go ahead and dance through it, man. <laughs> <laughs> just gotta dance through it. Dance through uh, the smoke. Yeah, man. Yeah, fuck I, it. I'd have shot that whole group up. Or a dan- a dance would have been a tour. But why? Though? Yeah, no. We're not making money together, right? You're not Amari, fucking. I'm my- probably looking at it like, all right, look, I got all of these people away from me. I'm not dealing with them. Cool. Well, like- I'm sure he's a Scorpio. He can detach that way. But nah, Scorpio. Oh, because he was born in Scorpio's November. Scorpios are very sensitive, though. <laughs> I'm with you, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, though. Oh, okay. all right. I don't yeah. understand. I don't understand that. It, that no, it, I get it. Aries hate fake people. <laughs> no, I get it. Aries is not November. I'm just joking. I'm talking about how oh. it surfaced some of that oh, Mario did all this twirling and 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 and, and, and stepping, and as soon as that video stopped, he was in there crying like a motherfucker. I don't think so. No, I think he's fun. Oh, Mario was. He's crying. probably cool, but it's cool. Still, he this, cried. this is he a cried good. When he got in the this is a good little segue uh, to some bullshit. Oh, this wasn't bullshit? I told we was on some bullshit. Yeah, we was on some bullshit. No, some more of like real nasty gossipy bullshit. Ma, I know your group chats are in a frenzy right now. They have they have united. Mm. It went from two group chats to now it is one from the union of Drake and Kylie Jenner. <laughs> tell us what's going on in there, Ma. What's I'm going a, on? I'm going to write a tell-all book. <laughs> you <snitching>? About Ma? <laughs> No, not about Maul. That would be a great book. No, um, no, it'd be three pages. I know nothing about Maul. <laughs> I, I don't know, man. This is this is to me. This is just is Travis his homeboy. No, I don't think they're homeboys like that. No, they got a hit song. Well, I don't believe this to begin anything. with. I just want. Yeah, I don't believe this. I'm just not feeding into it. I mean, it sounds good. It's click. People are gonna click on it, but I don't believe it. Were you the source? No, I definitely okay. was not. The source somebody. that was at the party well, saying yeah, they were Kylie getting cozy. Kylie and Drake have been spending time together romantically after a split. How do y'all know they were spending time uh, together romantically? Well, they're not that's, that's what I'm saying. That's like that's why it's bullshit. Like if he bumped into her coming out of the same restaurant, <laughs> yo, and that's see, what this bullshit is. But but I know, that's, that's all it is. Like, no. I have a problem with some of these headlines. You know, on the way here, I read a headline, and we'll get back to this. But I, just headlines, period. They're so misleading. I read a headline that said. Hotel pervert, and it was on a video. Hotel pervert caught sneaking, listening to couples have sex to hear them moaning. And it was a video of him in a hotel room in the hallway putting his ear to doors to hear couples moaning while having sex. He was just trying to find out where the moaning was coming from. That's the first thing I said. Yeah. I said, why is he a pervert? Because he enjoys listening to moaning. Or he was just curious. Who the fuck don't enjoy listening to moaning? Well, was it good moaning? Yeah. Well, I didn't hear it. Peaked his, peaked his interest. <laughs> well, it must not have been too good. If James was on the video. I mean, we... <laughs> well, I, well, if... I'd have caught me a little I was going to say, if, if you're me, you can nut in your jeans. <laughs> <laughs> find, find something to hump real quick and it's all, it's all good. Yeah, if it was me. <laughs> oh, my homegirl just sent me something about that, um, about our little bit on humping. We did a bit on humping? Yeah, and you have homegirls? Yes. I do. <laughs> she said, um, I've spent, a, we've all spent a lot of times in hotels, by the way. And I've heard moaning in the, oh, and we're like, which room is this coming from? Let me see if this is, uh, one of the I know, I have room next to Mall Mad Times on tour. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, <Rory>. <laughs> <laughs> she said, a nigga humped with his jeans on at 14 and split my vagina. Sorry. Huh? Sorry, I'm still listening. His zipper, I guess, split a vagina. My shit was her hymen? In between oh. the lips. He was so fine. I didn't want to stop him, but it was hurting. 
No, dry humping. So that's the thing, yeah. You, you have to be young to do it because it burnt your dick too. That's a lot. Crazy. It was a lot of friction. I, that's why I said it was crazy. <laughs> you that got you in the dick. That, you bust. <laughs> that shit hurts. Neil's nah, coconut Neil's oil for sure. fixes so much. I'll be honest. With you. It does. <laughs> like on Who's your body. No, in like six your, hours. On your no, 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 no. I'm fan. talking about neosporin. Oh, no, okay. I would put coconut oil on my dick. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Just something about Rory just saying he puts cocoa, <laughs> coconut oil on his dick. It's crazy. I don't want to talk about dicks anymore, but I definitely put Neosporin on my dick. Yeah, we all been there. You should have went to uh, like a doctor. <laughs> nah, I mean, imagine you said like, like a doctor. Nah, I, don't, I don't go to a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> That's nasty. Why would I do that when I have some perfectly good Neosporin? <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm just guessing. Yo, but I don't think you're supposed to put I Neosporin. am joking. <laughs> I don't think you're supposed to put Neosporin on your dick. That's just hilarious. It get fixed it. it. Get, <laughs> I was right back at it the next day. I tell you that one. Right back in the game. You try helping away. Oh, oh man, y'all are stupid, man. <sighs> All right, what you got? What we got? What we got? What we got? What we got? Oh, well, since we was on that topic, Drake put out new music. Do we want to talk about music on a music podcast? Why would we do that? Well, is this a music podcast? Not anymore. <laughs> it used to be. It's a lifestyle. It's the I remember our first album. I don't know if the before more. before the masses found out about them. Damn. Before we was the moral ground. Yeah. <laughs> the moral ground. So what, what did Drake release? <laughs> that is a Rory. trash name for a podcast. It really is. <laughs> well, yeah. What did Rory put out? I mean, not Rory. Uh, what did Drake put out? Oh, come on! I'm not doing this. I was a sn- <laughs> it was a snippet we played, we and then they put f- the song out. <laughs> oh, this is the record. We played the snippet, which was Drake's verse, and then it got into the actual record, which I, from Kevin Looks on like Chris. A so this is Drake's before I let you go. No, that would be <laughs> just hold on, we're going home. No, it's not. That is that is his. Any if you were gonna put it to before I let yes, go, yes, Rory, but you know what I'm saying when I say that. No, I'm getting away from it. You, 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 see, you see what I'm doing? Uh, here. Pretty smooth there. All right, yes. so what are we doing? Are we I have, playing to, go, this I have to go to LA tomorrow. Ah, uh, got it, got it, got it. You stay in Calabasas. No, right. no, not Drake. I was referring to uh, <laughs> my fault. Are y'all playing this? Like, what? I, I have nothing to say about this Spanish Drake record. I like Drake's verse. I didn't hear it yet. And, didn't there, hear it. and there you have it. <laughs> <laughs> should not, should, should That's what right. we got for you. Oh, <laughs> now what I will say is, Maul. Yes. Chicks tape five drops next week. Mm-hmm. Have you ever heard of Chicks tape before? Yes. I put you onto the Chicks tape. No, you mm. didn't. Uh, I put you on talk the about it. tape. I was you came and knocked on the door like yo, who that? I'm like it's Tory. You ain't even know who Tory Lanez was at the time. I put you on to the chicks tape. Stop doing that. This was 2000. He does that a lot. 12. Whatever that is, he does it a lot. Yeah, he didn't know. Oh, yeah. You didn't. Know. I did put you on the Tory, bro. You didn't put I me did. on the chicks tape. I did. I was playing. He was like, who is that? I put you on the Tory. I put you on the T fly. I gave you all that sauce, man. I put you on the Bryson. I put you on the Frank Ocean. Whoa. That's a lot of acclaim you're saying right now. You a lot. You you naming names. It's the truth. I did put you on all that. It's the truth. You speaking your truth. Yes. I put (laughs) you on that. So, yes, I do know what Chick's Tape is, and I'm I'm looking forward to it. Don't I have to acknowledge that for it to be fact? Uh, You don't acknowledge that. All right. Sometimes you you got to take the knowledge. So, you've heard Chick's Tape, and still you say all this shit that you say about... uh, 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 Tori when it comes to Bryson but Bryson has a classic album That is true But we're not here to talk about Bryson mm-hmm. And I like Tori I don't want it to seem like I'm You know trying to pick I'm, I like I like Tori Nah he already said that He got to shoot you to one In our interview <laughs> <laughs> and Which put me in a spot Because I know that's been a thing <laughs> Gotta like defend Tory, your goals I was like wait a minute It will not wait, be whoa, any whoa, whoa. physicality Hold on you, Wait you did an interview with Tori And didn't check with me and Mo Wow After we just had that debate both Yo, you media motherfuckers, man. That's crazy. <laughs> you media motherfuckers. <laughs> Joe the God. I'm still checking on uh, Sage Club, too. It's good. Charlemagne is mounting a pick in at least a month. Did you just call it the Sage <laughs> Club? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it's mad negativity in there. Spicy breakfast. <laughs> Spicy breakfast. All right, Maul. Yes. Chicks take five. It's coming. Oh, no. It's fire. <laughs> yeah. It should be. Look. <laughs> Yeah, all, all, all right. of the chicks tapes all right, are dope. All right, I'm dope more. What do you mean? Man. All of the chicks tapes are dope. I'm not, I'm not I'm not mad at that. Like I, I hope it's fire. I love the chicks tape series. I think it's one of the best mixtape series in probably years that an artist has put out. You relax. I like Tori. You relax for us. I'm a pl- I'm a, I'm only playing this because it's supposed to drop by the time this is out. Right? 
Uh, yeah, I think this comes out tonight. And if it's not, then Parks erase all this shit. <laughs> no, this, I think this is coming out before this podcast comes out. What? Yeah, Maul. Talented. No, 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 no. All right, I'm done talking to you. <laughs> what? What do you want me to say? I, I want you to speak with more enthusiasm than he's talented. I already talented. know what to expect from he, this series. This shit is, this shit is fire. smoke smoke this shit. Yeah, but I I expect that. I, this, this doesn't surprise me. This is what he's been doing on all of these chicks tapes. Yeah, but I guess this is a little different now. Number one, because they did the business to make it a real release, mm-hmm. so now there'll be numbers attached to it. We'll, you know, we'll see all of that. And two, because he actually featured these artists on the song, like Pain is on here. Well, yeah, he's so. A big, I mean, it's a little a different in that now, regard. So it, it, yeah, it, it's it's different now. Like people know who he is. Listen, bro. Pain is great, man. Pain is a goat. Pain is a goat. Well, yeah. who's on that go- uh I'm not doing that. Pain is a goat. Chris Brown's a goat. Usher's a goat. R. Kelly's in jail. <laughs> yeah. I'm That's three. Sorry. I'll st- I can stop there. Everybody else got to chill out. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, Jacquees dropped. Jacquees dropped. I didn't hear it because we, re- well, we were recording on Thursday. <laughs> okay. yep. But I'm really excited about listening to it because I think he's going to have some heat on there. Yeah. Okay. Emotional Orange has dropped t- uh, today. You can oh. listen to that. Come on, man. Talk I love that shit. these niggas, Roy. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, you guys know that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Parks. Yeah, I got you, bro. Yeah. That's out now. Juice Volume 2. Go stream that. And yeah. Volume 1. Stream that too. Hey. Well, yeah. I mean. Get your old shit too. How numbers go? That one was out already, and then Volume Two. Stream came. them both. <laughs> right, right. Uh, what else dropped? Davies. Davies dropped. Looking forward to that. Davies dropped, and I actually heard a lot of people saying uh, good things about what he's been sharing. I'm sure. Mm-hmm. I'm sure. I think his, his album's gonna be really good. Me too. I know you said that last week. I don't know what you're basing off, but you might have heard something. Mm, well, the, the the record with Nas, and I feel that record like, is hard. I feel like he took his time with this. I feel like he. He, yeah. he took his, he took a lot of time with this. Um, I feel like it's different people in his camp or in his ear now. You know, you know, sometimes things need to change for you to put your best foot forward. So I know what yeah. Dave is capable. of. I've worked with Dave a lot early in his career, and I know that he can rap really well and make good songs. I don't think he always does that with like you know the quote unquote mixtapes or whatever. He just you know does some shit that he feels at the moment. You discovered him? I didn't discover. Oh, okay. him. Uh, but uh, I, I'm pretty sure his album's gonna be good. We'll see. Somebody I like the features he picked. Um, great. Uh, well, the features that uh, Dave Dave picked. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they work for him. Yeah, I'd like to hear Dave and and where he takes us coming off all of this acting fame that that, that he got going on. Yeah, so that'll be interesting. Um, yeah, because he could act. <laughs> yeah, I was, yeah. I, would, I, was, I was coming in here a few weeks ago to ask you guys if you thought that if that he had a brighter career in acting than maybe he even did uh, as an MC. And I, I when, when he got cast with it, I was like, all right, well, he'll, he's tall. Method Man's tall. He's a rapper. Maybe he can act like a rapper. No, he's acting like Method Man for real. He's acting. He's not just being a rapper that's tall. Yeah. <laughs> like, he's body in that role. You dicky. That's fact. <laughs> that's fact coming off of that is <laughs> it's a Fendi right there that's facts uh, no nah, Dave uh, congratulations congratulations to Dave uh, much uh, much more success all that good shit that people say when they're happy for somebody right. um, can one of you here explain to me the history and origin behind No Nut November no no, nah. and I don't particularly care to. Next topic. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, uh, what else do we have going on? What else is important? Uh, I've been waiting for y'all to explain what gaslighting is for like a month. Yeah, and that's, a half. that's been on our list for God knows how long. What is gaslighting? What is gaslighting? Mall. 
I have no idea. This is a this is something that's near and dear to Joe's heart. Just oh, okay. Well, no, because I want to know what it is because I've been called like the king of it. Uh, so maybe it's given twenty five hundred dollars for that's all. That's the definition. <laughs> is that it? Yeah, no, it. gas. That <laughs> oh, I, I really don't. Know I don't know. I've never heard of it because I think it's one of those made up terms. Okay. But I'm not supposed to say that if I'm the king of it because I uh, think that is gaslighting. But do you know what the term is? Uh, to my understanding, and, and y'all, one of y'all looked this up over there. To my understanding, it's when someone has an issue with you, but you pretend. Oh that, no, this is you that they don't now nah, you're an the gas issue. lighter. <laughs> like, oh my nah you the gaslighter it's a form of physical whatever chick told you that they wasn't lying in which a person seeks to sow seeds of doubt in a targeted individual or I can't see that word uh, screen man where, where are you right reading? There, okay. oh, over there. Sorry. Gaslighting is a form of psychological manipulation in which a person seeks to sow seeds of doubt in a targeted individual or in members of a targeted group, making them question their own memory, perception, and sanity. I, I just read the definition. Seen, I'm uh, still confused. It's, that, how, it's how Joe cause, argues. Cause that's nothing. <laughs> they, <laughs> it's just, just words. they just said nothing at all. So it's what the words. fuck is gas? <laughs> and, and what I'm doing right now is gaslighting. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen you argue. I'm sure a woman said uh, it. I assume a woman said this to you. If you see me, or uh, so it's the I'm... runaround. Yeah, it's been if, yeah, like, and then you start to think that maybe you're crazy. Yeah, like maybe you're wrong. Uh, no, you'd be wrong. Like so, basically, it's like <laughs> this cup is red, right? Gaslighting. Right. But in arguing with Joe, he will make you feel like it's orange, and you might start believing like. He might be right. Joe <laughs> is a fucking genius, and he will never try to convince you that a red cup is orange. <laughs> or no, is this, I you, won't. Is this You're some psychology right here right now <laughs> that you're you trying know. to reverse this shit? <laughs> you're gaslighting that yeah. buddy. I'm you're, back. You're to, a I'm, I'm back to what my son said earlier. Your interpretation of things, <laughs> but yeah. that's gaslighting. Because if because if a chick has it has created an issue, right, <laughs> and brings it to you, right, and you say. Hey, you created that? Yeah. That's gaslighting. Huh. By de- by definition. This like, is why Rory like don't Rory. This nah, is why Rory nah, don't get it. <laughs> You're not in touch, bro. It's cool. Uh, it's cool. <laughs> it's cool. You don't gotta be in touch there all the time, bro. They Rev was, is hype in the kitchen oh, right now. Oh, I know she was. When this came out, I know was Rev is going ass, crazy boy. in the kitchen right now. This is a record. <laughs> They was shaking ass when this came out. What they you still mean, are. What you mean was? Yeah. They still are. It's still happening. I don't hear it. Right, they they can't sideways. hear anything we're saying. We're going. Right. <laughs> Rory has not quite learned to just play the record. Just turn it down a little bit. I don't have headphones on. That's why you should wear the headphones. <laughs> but who cares? Uh, no, they're still shaking ass at this mall. Oh, absolutely. I haven't heard this record in a long time, though. Like, <laughs> no, it's still out there. Okay. Yeah, I shake my ass when shit come on. <laughs> We're not worried about <laughs> you, you gaslight to this. Yeah. <laughs> you get gaslit to this. I'm, I'm no, so, so nobody else in here has ever been accused of gaslighting. No. Oh, no. I have. Yes. Yeah. Got it. Yeah, I definitely. I don't have. argue enough. Manipulate someone yeah, by away. psychological by psychological means into questioning their own sanity. Nah, their sanity should be questioned because <laughs> they just said some real the cup stupid is not red. shit. All right, whatever. I don't. I don't want to gaslight. <laughs> <laughs> you are a gaslighter. Anytime someone says to me that I'm manipulating them, I say, to do what? <laughs> Whatever it is you want them to do. I don't want you to that's, do anything. That's part of that's the manipulation. Yeah, because you could be manipulating them to get away from you. Or I could remove myself. Well, that's part of getting away. And that's gaslighting. <laughs> anything a guy does is gaslighting. All right, yeah. I'm done with this. Duh. You ain't see that? Like, I know who came up with this word immediately as soon as I read it. <laughs> It was her. They just put words together and put a whole meaning. How are you? How do you gaslight the definition of gaslight? That's how you make make sense of what a word means. Just just put so many words together and then they they (laughs) gas. Gaslight. This fuck is gaslighting Webster right now. (laughs) That's the stupidest shit I've ever. I see why most stay single. When you're single, let it come up. You gaslight. Yeah. All right. You, you have a good day. <laughs> Immediately. Like, all right. Whatever. Uh, all right. So now we have a clear and concise definition of gaslighting. Joe. <laughs> I've never even wanted anything from my partner. You're gaslighting again. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you are. Premium. The expensive <laughs> shit. You, you might pause, be diesel. All right. <laughs> all right fine. Don't do this. 
I can't say anything. Uh, <laughs> let me see. What else is important in the universe? Um, you have a gas tank on your shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized how nasty that shirt, that shirt says top. What frat are you in? Top me off shirt. That's the vibrations. Oh, yeah. Barstool Joe. <laughs> top me off. You definitely going to a white bar in a story tonight. What is she even filling up? <laughs> got to get me MVP too. She's putting gas in a box. Yeah. Are you done fucking objectifying me? <laughs> I'm sorry, Joe. I was trying not to laugh. You're the right. shirt, not you. Jesus, man. Anyways. <laughs> Uh, oh shit! Oh shit! All right, that's what I want. Uh, Hulu, they're getting FX. Okay, that, that means a lot. Man, Netflix, Hulu is nice. Netflix is over, man. Not yet, but when I say that, I'm projecting. Yeah, and it's, the trend is downward. Absolutely, their dumb little British shows ain't enough. <laughs> The no, British F- shows ain't enough to keep things afloat. FX you know, got all of heat. my favorite shows is on FX. FX got they have shows. They have heat. Yeah, yeah, they're like the 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 lone standing cable channel that makes things like a premium channel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they they did the People vs OJ, right? Yeah, uh, that still remains as one of my favorite yeah, FX. Yeah, mini FX. series that just was and a one off. The, uh, the one about Versace, which was also very yes. good. That one was Which also, really also good. means that they'll be pulling these off of Netflix. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the OJ one is still on Netflix. And so is the Versace one. Yeah. Fan Hulu, Disney's not playing with them, man. Disney's not playing with them. You think Disney's going to uh, end up the victor? I mean, they got end the money. End up? Well, I don't know. Because they don't really have like adult themed content. Not the porn, but, you know. They're going to load murders and shit. They're gonna load Hulu up. Yeah. I think, oh wait. I think that's Disney what, owns Hulu. Yes. Oh yeah. No, that's what I didn't know. That. That's, that's what the they, headline. That's where they put all uh. their dirty stuff. <laughs> 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 okay. And that's why I'm saying Netflix is in trouble because. Oh yeah, it's trouble. Yeah. That's they, not good though. By the way. What? Having one company have all the good shit. It's called a monopoly. Correct. So. Or <laughs> it's a oligar- term. Well, oligarchy. Well, that's how we gave Facebook all that fucking power, and now we won't delete it. <laughs> I deleted Facebook. I've never right used Facebook. Well, we have Instagram, but I've never, I've never used Facebook. Um, well, we've already established we're gonna pay for all this shit. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. We're, we're gonna I already pay. pay for way more than I should. <laughs> I have subscriptions yeah. to too much shit. Hulu is set to become the premier streaming home for FX titles beginning in March 2020. Uh, known for absurdist comedies and groundbreaking dramas, FX has. Won 57 Emmys since 2014 and won more Golden Gloves, uh, Golden Gloves. Globes than HBO, Netflix, and <laughs> Amazon. Golden Gloves. FX could fight. <laughs> no, I think that's catching baseballs, but uh, all the same. More Golden Globes than HBO, Golden Netflix, Glo- no, that's also Amazon boxing, but that's Prime. What you're Talk over all the facts, guys. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Amazon Prime in that same time for shows like American Crime Story, Pose, Fargo, and The Americans. Oh, they're getting Pose. It's litty. Fargo is fire, too. I don't know if they have a new season of that, but. That's a good show. As part of the arrangement for upcoming FX series, including I don't care about all that being referred to, also means most current on the FX available to watch a Hulu meeting. Yeah. All right. So they're getting new shit. They're getting the old classics and they're getting all the Disney everything. They got the dirty channel. That's it's, it's trouble. And all Netflix. It's not good, though. It's not good. And Netflix is giving y'all, uh, what's this bullshit that they're highlighting up there with the uh, black girl that I love? Damn, it's not a, her name's not Regina, and I see y'all haven't opened Netflix in a while. They got some bullshit on it right now. Yeah, I haven't opened it. I don't know. Well, no, the other night I watched another episode of Peaky Blinders. Somebody, oh, okay. I gotta finish that too. But I'm not. I don't. I don't surf Netflix. I go to exactly what I'm looking. Yeah, for. I usually my the shit. I will give them credit. The shit that I want to watch is usually in the top yeah. little list. I'm curious where comedy goes with this. Because Netflix kind of opened the comedy special shit, kind of took it from they'll keep it. HBO and show. They should hold that down. They'll, they'll keep that. Yeah. They need to keep continue to give them the bags. Yeah. But they keep giving trash people bags. Trash bags. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. They have, they have good good people on there, too. And really bad people. For there. sure. I mean, And really well, bad stand-ups a, from really good stand-ups. Sometimes, yeah. Well, you can't. If you're a legendary... And this might be on the Monique shit. If you're a legendary comic, you can't say if it's going to be a trash special yet. Like, I'm going to give Chris Rock the bag. I don't know what he's about to say, but I yeah. think I should give him the bag. Yeah, I'll, I'll roll those dice. Yeah, people are going to click so yeah. see Chris Rock special anyway. It doesn't right. matter if it's trash or not. 
Um, all right, fine. Uh, what else we got? What else we got? What's important? How about that? Oh, I got a, I got a couple things. Hey, look yeah, at so us. some important things. Uh, do we want to keep it lighthearted, important, or just general? What's important? I don't care. Oh, Whatever. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Tory Lane. I'll start lighthearted. Tory Lane is giving Tyga unlimited features for life because he uh, gave him a hairline. That's I think important. that's important. That's swag. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, that's that very is, important. That is important, though. Oh, this one was kind of for Maul. I, I kind of don't like that because Tiger be giving some features too. Like, how are you just going to say I get unlimited features? Mm. That's a good I question. should be saying, yo, I'll give you unlimited features. I'm fucking Tiger. Tory Lanez does not want unlimited features from Tiger. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so? you say that. Hey, Tiger, keep it. I'll keep it in music. Uh, Macklemore is going to drop a, the first ever Magic rap album. He's a, he's a wizard now. That's fire. I love Magic. You fuck with Magic? Mm-hmm. You fuck with Macklemore too. That's true. So boom. He's, a, he's a wizard. Uh, yeah, he's a magician. So, so, so he's gonna put magic yeah. into the album. Hogwarts raps. Oh, so he's like gonna. You know what? I fuck with Macklemore. <laughs> <laughs> I had a really good joke just now, but I'm fucking. I'm, I'm joking. Me too. Uh, <laughs> Rage Against the Machine is going back on tour. They're doing Congrats. some shows. I'm excited about that. Killing it. The other, the other Rage Against the Machine. Oh, the one that bit. The one, me. the one that bit from Joe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they did steal that shit. That shit was fucked up. Um, <laughs> you ain't been paid for both. <laughs> Not gonna pay for that tour. Uh, Jay Z's impact. He he got Diplo to do the music for uh, Monday Night Football. Okay, I can see Diplo doing Monday Night Football. That's important. That's that's important. Fox, oh. is, Fox is a dickhead. I'm a dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> this is the I'm a dickhead Jay, segment. Jay Z's yeah. impact. Well, let's he not got no, Diplo to do. <laughs> Listen, that's, let's let's not I just let's not skip over the J topic because fade to black anniversary just happened and mm. Mo I don't know if that brought you back to the night the city officially became yours. <laughs> Nigga, I took the train back uptown. The city was not mine. <laughs> <laughs> you talking about? The train was yours though. <laughs> yeah. Maybe they'll love you when you fade to black. They won't. Uh, I see you wearing all black today too. What did your shirt say? <laughs> Privacy is a myth. That's a good quality hoodie though. What fabric is that? I believe it's called French it's called, Terry. It's called Inside Out. <laughs> no, I have French Terry's all right. Terry Claude is cool. Our audience doesn't care about Maul's fabric. What else we got? I don't know. <laughs> uh, good not that I care about this actress that much. Emma Watson uh, says she's not wait, single. Wait, 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 Emma did. She says she's not single. She's self partnered. So I just thought that was for you guys. Oh, me too. Yeah. I'm self partnered. Well, yeah, you don't say you're a bachelor yeah, anymore. That's kind of swag. <laughs> yeah, I'm self partnered. <laughs> yeah. I, I, that's when you identify as in a relationship, but with yourself. Did you explain what that meant? Uh, I'm not really. That's even better. That's even better. <laughs> yeah. 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 Don't no. explain shit. Did you guys go to the Chris Brown yard sale? <sighs> My Uber wouldn't go that way. Uh, or... I was home. Uh, Ma, you live in LA. And you wear all that yard shit. <laughs> is that one of his shits? No. <laughs> that is where you got that. No. It's not where I got it from. That was I dope, think that's that a really a good idea, idea though, what he did. I think that's a great he idea. He had a lot of shit. Just like, maybe not do it at your crib. That shit has to give you anxiety, like going in your fucking closet and seeing all that shit that you never wear, like. So that you lady, get like, for, I need to get this shit out of here. That you get for free and all that. Yeah. yeah. So that was, I, I think that was dope. Yeah, that's a good idea. I feel like he could have done this online and maybe made uh, it a little better. Push, Push did that with some app where yeah. he, he grailed, which is a dope site that you can I've buy seen designer shit off. I've seen girls put their like used clothes on some app before, but anyway. But see, the thing about doing that on, online, Joe, is then people get it, shit doesn't fit them. They're upset. They want to return. Yeah, now you got to return. That's, that's a lot. It's Fam, like, so come every, here. Everything is Chris Brown's fit. Still. What do you mean? It doesn't fit me. Nigga, you not shaped like Chris. Yeah, but what if you. How did you think this was going to fit you? Yeah, but sometimes. Fat fuck. That's what I'm saying. (laughs) Some (laughs) niggas, you know how they are online. They might feel like, yo, I could could, could get into those. No, no, you can't get into those. And you get them and you can't get into those. Everything fits me. These guys are great. That's the pitch. Um, in more serious news, Byron Allen is uh, in a lawsuit with Comcast that has to do with the Civil Rights uh, Act of 1866. It's pretty important. I'm not educated enough to give why it's important, but you should research it. It has to do with uh, discrimination in employment and contracts and stuff like that. So All right. you should read into it. It's a, it's a long, kind of complicated read, but That's it could have I'm, pretty massive implications. That's why I'm a Verizon guy. Yeah, I feel you. You don't fuck with Spectrum or Comcast, <laughs> even though they're not the same company. <laughs> um, I th- that might be all that's important. I got a few little topics. 
that okay. we could rush through here. Sure. Uh, that More Life company that Drake started is selling weed, flowers, and shoes all from the same spot. Oh, Talk I'm about a slave. Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about fucking stealing ideas from crackheads. <laughs> <laughs> From 40 seconds straight. Yeah, word. Fucking stole from the deuce. Yeah, my guy's right out there doing the same shit of Melody yeah. every Friday. Yeah. <laughs> Look at Drake trying to Corner mainstream the something. Yeah. <laughs> Corner the market. Uh, Twitter's banning political advertising. I think that's, that's oh, great. That's, yeah. Because yeah. they, they saw Zuckerberg on that stand sweating. <laughs> he ain't want that shit. Jack don't want to sweat? Hell no. Yeah. Uh, Amazon's selling facial recognition to ICE, which is, I told you don't fuck with Amazon. Everyone is selling our faces. Yeah, to yeah, people. that's true. That is true. Uh, Better O'Rourke dropped out of the presidential campaign. I thought he was a good candidate, but good candidates go first. Parks. That's true. No, that wasn't the funny part. He he dropped out a day after he had just told like fifty thousand people, "Hey, this is what I'm gonna do." <laughs> <laughs> Life happens fast, bro. Yeah. <laughs> oh, better. All right, uh, yeah. man. DC is home in two months. Thought that was dope. Oh, round of applause. Yeah. Congrats. Street's back, man. Street's bike. <laughs> bike. <laughs> Louis CK is going back on tour. I saw that. I'll, I will be purchasing a ticket. Sorry, guys. You're canceled. I know. And you're toxic. That's a fact. <laughs> I'll be there with you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Where's it going to be at? Uh, I, don't, I didn't see the yeah, I look lineup. At the list. It was but. an extensive tour, though. You got it. Yeah, it wasn't like a one-off type of thing. Speaking of toxic thing, Joe owes Tom Brady an apology. Hmm. I told you, Joey. You told me what? He didn't say it. He did say it. He did not. <laughs> he did it. Yes, he did. <laughs> did not. Yo, so, yo, yo, y'all have fallen for this new edited no, clip. Oh, you uh, <laughs> the new edited, edited clip. clip. <laughs> <laughs> they auto-tuned him? Yeah, <laughs> y'all falling for what this new clip they put out. Oh, that's In what the it is? original. Uh, I'm original, not saying I'm not saying, clip, I'm not right? saying Tom Brady has not used the word. I'm saying he wouldn't use it like that. And you're not <laughs> saying yeah, he's putting a hard R on it. <laughs> you're not saying you've been cheated on either. You don't know that. Yeah, yeah, we can't say that yeah. for sure. You got It's better to just say I have. <laughs> no, it's not. no, it's not. You got to leave some room to hope that you've never been cheated. Nah, on. he sounds nuts saying. He said Yo, he don't know. I believe. Yeah, that. Like, I no, didn't no. say I believe. Once you get into I your said beliefs, I don't know. You keep remixing what I said. <laughs> That's said what you can. Cons- what you do but on this podcast all the time. I'm gaslighting you. Yes, yeah. I said <laughs> I don't know. Joke. If to my knowledge, I'm not aware. To my no- and once a guy right. says to my knowledge, you have to just leave it right there. When a nigga says to my knowledge, because you don't know how much he, he don't, we don't want Yo, no news. Fam. <laughs> he don't want no knowledge. You, ga- you gaslighted no your apology for Tom. Just give it. Yeah. Y'all seen Jai Rule's Twitter lately? Yeah, he's been wild. <laughs> no, Jai's been wild. Jai's been wild. I didn't even know he had a Twitter. Why? What do you do? Nah, bring up, bring up. Since yeah, go to Jai's page because I can't say the topic the things of that Tom Brady saying. using he, the N word. He said nigger means ignorant. And then I saw he said, "Oh shit, it don't mean that." <laughs> <laughs> I was lied to my whole life. And then I saw him no, say, yo. His whole life. He found out. Tw- I've been lied to for 20 yeah. minutes. <laughs> <laughs> no, but then, then he said, well, we can read it. But then he said, he said yo, yo, they're not selling Popeye's chicken sandwiches in my, my neighborhood because I live in the white neighborhood. I wonder why. Mm. Y'all going to die eating Popeye's sandwiches, by the way. That's a fact. Listen, yeah. l- listen, to right listen, listen to this. Stop right Listen to this. If you just know anything about capitalism let's just imagine because i'm not smart i think y'all have listened long enough to know that but i'm good at at just imagining shit Mm. so imagine this popeyes has already made x amount of dollars from popeyes from just popeyes popeyesing that's their model they have their projections for the year it's a lot of popeyes in the country we have to assume that it's a pretty good number they're bringing back yeah. They try a little trick with some chicken. Now, mind you, their business is chicken. <laughs> That's their business, yeah. The, and fries. The business is chicken. They put out a little trick with some chicken. It works. Whole country goes crazy. All of the chicken sells out. They take a long break because they realize they need at least 7 million more pounds of chicken. Are you playing Popeyes by the Clips? Because no, this I'm, is the time to play Popeyes by the Clips. I'm playing Solange Things I Imagined. Uh, I think people just have uh, FOMO. So they want they, they don't want to miss the sandwich. Yeah, they don't want to miss yeah. this chicken sandwich. We said it I'm, last I'm, I'm episode. I'm not talking about dumb. I'm talking about Corporate. capitalism. Oh, yeah. And where can you... Inst- if 
all your drugs sell out mall just miraculously but but you got a line you got a line mm -hmm. <laughs> can you just go somewhere and get seven million more pounds of drugs no, no. <laughs> this is how they broke down and, and why do, michael b jordan to learn math but go ahead oh really yes oh yeah i remember that no i remember that now these niggas went and got all the contaminated chicken from all over the world. All of the poison chicken. chicken. Grew some chicken. Yeah, they done fucking planted some shit, grew some shit. Y'all gonna die. Yeah. Well, we all are, but y'all should stop. Yeah, you should stop. Y'all should stop. Honestly. It seems dangerous. It's, it's not worth it. Yeah, it's no. not worth it. Uh, last thing I got is uh, Ray J and Kanye and Kim Wait, Kardashian. Wait, before you get to the last oh. thing, I think we need to, I think we need to do one of those again. Remember how we had our our, our bro chicken day when we made our we created yeah. some dip and made some oh let's chicken. Do it. We need to do that again. Yeah. It's football season. Yeah, well, you don't watch football, but we can find find a Sunday. Yeah, we could just stay in the other room over and not kick it with you. Yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need to do our. If, dude. if it's on at your house, I mean, I watch. Yeah, let me know. I will cook. <laughs> and I'm thinking about um, well, actually, uh, Ebony K from uh, my coach, state of culture said that I need to throw some type of shameless plug name drop. <laughs> it's my work wife. Um, <laughs> she says I need to throw something. Well, she has a relationship. So let me not say that. <laughs> <laughs> Jinx I'm, is your work wife. Kidding. He's in a relationship. So oh. <laughs> I can't even bag Jinx. All right. Uh, <laughs> was, she says that I should throw some type of like holiday, Intimate mixer at my house. Ooh, a mixer. You just learned what it is, and now you're going to do it. For single yeah. people only? Huh? For single no, people? No, no. Oh, I thought it was lit for a second. For revolt people only, though, so. Yeah, we're not invited more. Yeah, sorry. For sin no, just like for close friends and co-workers, and y'all are co-workers. So just have a Christmas party. Y'all are not party like for close friends and co-workers. <laughs> y'all are co-workers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not close friends, no. You guys, are, you, fall, you fall in the <laughs> spectrum. Damn. <laughs> Yeah, look look like, where we are I'm now, guys. Be so bad, man. Why? No, I uh, don't. Stop shaking your little knee around me, then, nigga. That make me think it's on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's all I want. We just need another. You did a day. Christmas party mm -hmm. one day, one time at your crib. Christmas party? Yeah, a little coquito. I, I still, you got, you got a photo crib. booth. I, I still have oh, yeah, photos. Then somebody was it that the night somebody broke the chair playing uh, musical chairs? Yes, yeah. and that was the time Joe found someone in his bedroom that almost got. Their face beat in in their house. Mm, they ain't the make, right? make it to my oh, Mario. But yeah, that was about to be bad. Mm. Yeah. Throw another one. <laughs> I think it's crazy. <laughs> throw another one. I should throw one. Yeah. Yeah, it would be fun. I'll be there. Yeah, right, we have we'll, fun at that we'll, one. Right, we'll work on it. Uh, what were you saying about That's, Ray J? Ray oh, J. Uh, they're going to get uh, Sugar out of jail. Donald Trump and uh, oh, Ray shit. J and, and, Kim? And, and Kim and Kanye. Yeah. <laughs> Fam, if Kim. <laughs> Tiger will probably be there. I think Tiger will be there. <laughs> Listen, this is just. This is just the whiteness in me, and I apologize to everybody. Kim, Suge is not the Innocence Project. <laughs> you hate him. <laughs> and you dry switch. <laughs> <laughs> He's wearing red, though, so he's good. Suge could be the Queen's Child Project. <laughs> <laughs> he could be. <laughs> Suge shot ghost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nigga said Hove shot goats <laughs> what that be I saw you yeah, they, they said the daughter We never see shot goats <laughs> They keep trying to make us Care about that daughter Nobody cares about that shit um, I don't think I have Anything else uh, Yeah that's pretty much it No the people of St. Louis Are absolutely disrespectful <laughs> Wait why Wait verb is oh, after you again Okay No verb is not after I you I fuck with St. Louis so. <laughs> Me too Except for that one They have real good food they do. They, no, and just, good Budweiser. Just the people that were That's at him? the, the uh, No Limit reunion show. Oh, man. What they, they booed, did to they P? They booed Master P off the stage. Oh, no. Nah. Well, that is very well was Master P trash? <laughs> you can't go to a No Limit reunion <laughs> show. If I'm paying money, I would like to see a good show. If I'm paying money, he I would was like asking if they was ready. <laughs> I, would like, I don't even know if he started the show yet. I think he came out and was asking if they was ready for the show, and they, they booed him. Was there a tank? Uh, they have fatigue on. I didn't see the tank yet. Did tank bring ghost? <laughs> <laughs> and another dick. <laughs> <laughs> he don't put it down like you. <laughs> oh, that hook. That hook is so nasty. Yo, they played that shit in the strip club. I'm like, yo, I got some joints, man. Hold up, man. <laughs> NBA game. I got a whole. Give you a set. <laughs> oh, a set. 
<laughs> I, Joe Button said at the strip. <laughs> yo, the, yo, they wanted to fire. They wanted to fire. God, you guys. <laughs> I'm telling you. Yo, yo you, I got a scam. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone. <laughs> yo, I'm telling y'all, I did get a little set. That's dope. I got to see how the girls was dancing to your No, story. no. <laughs> <laughs> I got to see how the girl was dancing to all of those words. They wasn't dancing. What were they doing? They were just on their phones chilling. It was empty. <laughs> oh, no, they were tweeting about the moment. I wouldn't That's get no joke button capture. set when it's popping in there. Oh, what are you talking so, about? They, so, the, so the DJ play just set when nobody was dancing yet? At eight. Joe was dancing. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I gave him. I was like, "Oh shit, okay." <laughs> Give me a mic. <laughs> Give me a mic. <laughs> nah, I just walk up yo. to the DJ booth. Yo, I do. I give it to him. <laughs> yo, yo, we still pushing this record. Yo, the DJ. <laughs> <laughs> we still. Yo, pushing. good luck, my G. <laughs> yeah, we still working. Yeah. This yo, the DJ like, give me my mic, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you up there? Yo, I'm, I'll give him a little taste. <laughs> <laughs> a little taste. The niggas ain't want none of that taste. <laughs> <laughs> then look, then looked, at the, looked at the camera guy. Yo, yo more, send me that. You better stop disrespecting my catalog, not, honestly. Because you've been like, doing it for a year. In a strip club? Come on, man. I don't want to that. that was strip club. In an right empty here. strip club. Although, no. you could get a. You could get. Hey, my. Se- hold up. He no, started focus, with focus. Don't do that. That'll go Hold up. Y'all gotta relax. I was gonna say focus. He gave him focus. He, he gave him one of the freestyles for like a cool beat. I was like, all right. <laughs> all right. You gave him right. Russian roulette? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> no. Uh, but for the record, he gave him Focus. He gave him Pump It Up. He gave him NBA. He gave him She Don't Put It Down. And she gave him, uh, what's the market she used to do? Clubbing. Okay. Uh-huh. In an empty Monday night strip club. We did that same set in Dubai. That's my show. Yeah. That's my festival. That festival is ass. <laughs> that's so slow. Yo, that's my oh, shit. Yeah, that's my festival. Yeah. Y'all catch what nah, that's when I go get food and use yeah. the bathroom. <laughs> Yo, y'all hate. I'm playing my shit now. Fuck y'all. Oh shit, that's my festival. That's when I walk to the other stage. Yo, who's nah. on who's on the other stage? Yo, that's my festival. <laughs> Holy shit. Nah, fuck y'all now. That is some funny nah, shit. Nah, now man. fuck nah, now fuck y'all, nigga. That's what now you are? Now I'm playing all my shit for the sleeper. <laughs> <laughs> this is my sleeper? <laughs> Give him the set. Mm. This kid though, I forgot his I forgot his name who uh wrote this yeah. hook. I forgot it too. But he wrote a lot of great hooks. He did, yeah. He was Mom. moving. Like, I know I know we laugh at this song because it's me. No, nah, this was this, this but, song. No, nah, I like this song. But if this, this wasn't on E1, it would have been a, a successful. It would have been better than being on E1. I can't believe it got no syncs. Look like, at, it's called NBA, and it dropped in January. Like, it was. Look at y'all blaming show. the label. <laughs> <laughs> Shit wasn't it. I live with it. Oh, they, made, they made me waste my Wiz feature. I ain't even do yeah, nothing. Right. You could have got on, a, a nice on. Wiz feature, too. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. All right. Y'all made me mad now. All right. <laughs> uh, sleepers. Right? Great. Yeah. Rest in peace, Big L, for sure. I, I, yo, I can't say this. I cannot believe that Jim Jones is putting an album out. You do another one? Yeah. Before wow. the year is up, he said. Wow. He's already got one of the best hip hop albums of the year. One of the best albums of the year, period, actually. Easily. No, that's yeah. Fendi. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if it's gonna be Heat Makers again. I would I would imagine. He was uh yeah. on Instagram with with the Heat Makers. Oh, okay. So yeah. I'm looking forward to it. I would imagine. That's um, right there. Yeah. Do, do, what, what's happening? Sorry. All right. Dude. <laughs> well, I'm in the park. Actually, no, I found it. Couldn't couldn't find the original version. <laughs> <laughs> what other cases did the remix just totally wipe out the original version? Benjamin's? You mean the the thing that Puff created? <laughs> yeah, but even even that <laughs> he invented it. Even that's he a, did. That's smart. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> All right, I'm not doing this with you. I want to. <laughs> I want to get to Puff's New Year's party this year. <laughs> Same. That, oh man, that's man, man. Oh man, oh man. I hope he has that. Um, Michael Strahan is getting all of the money. I'm not sure if anybody knows. No, he's getting. I think it. it's very obvious. <laughs> yeah, just by that suit, it's obvious. Yeah, word. You can um, see the money. We didn't talk about. Uh, we didn't talk about Chris Carter getting fired, but we can talk about that on uh, 
Tuesday. Maybe some more details will actually be revealed as to why he was fired. They put out the most blanket statement ever, Fox News. Uh, not Fox News, but Fox saying, uh, we're not fucking with uh, Chris Carter anymore. So <laughs> do, do what y'all want with him. So we'll try to find out, find out what's going on there. We'll talk about the next pod. Dolphins legend. Then. Parks, did me and you bet? It's a we bet. Minnesota did legend. Did we bet? <laughs> you played one season with the Dolphins, man. The Dolphins <laughs> legend. Definitely a Vikings legend. But Didn't uh, I tell you that uh, the Dolphins are going to win a game? You're right. They did. They're going to win another I one, did. too. Uh, they might. They're starting to look uh, a little bit more like a football team, unfortunately. Tannehill going to always creep in and get a, a couple wins. No, it was Fitzpatrick. I mean, Fitzpatrick, yeah, not yeah, Tannehill. Yeah. What the fuck am I talking about? Um, I'm excited to watch that. I, I don't really watch college football, but it's uh, Tua versus Burrow. Barrow, whatever, tomorrow, LSU and Alabama. I also oh, told you Tua, yeah. Tua might not go one. He might not. That Barrow kid's creeping up, or Barrow, Barrow, whatever his name is. No, no that, kid is, that kid is for real. He's the real deal. Yeah. Listen, man, I hope you all enjoyed this podcast as much as we enjoy it, recording it. You want the Knicks to tank? <laughs> <laughs> Calling it early? Tank for coal. Tank for coal. <laughs> Already? Tank for Cole. You got to find a cooler name than that, though. <laughs> That's his name. I know, but it's got to be like it's gotta Crash for Cole or something. You know what I mean? Like Crash. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I like Crash for Cole. Yeah. Crash and Burn. No, we got to get him. Burn for Cole? No, we're old. We need a little Cole Anthony. <laughs> it's not happening. Yeah, no. I'll take LaMelo Ball. He'll probably be there, yeah. Beware. I think the Knicks get a good pick. Yeah. So I'm saying they won't get the number one pick, but I don't think Cole Anthony will be the number one pick. No, K. Wiseman from Memphis will be number one. I don't know a lot about him. No, he'll be number one. Yeah, Maul just stamped it. Come on, uh, Maul yeah. said it. I said, I know Maul be known. Yeah, he'll be number one. Maul told y'all Anthony Bennett was going to be a superstar. Look how that panned out. Oh, I t- Yes, you did. So now I can see why they pick him number one. Nah, nah, see, I coming see. out, he was definitely like UNLV was a monster, but can it I, just didn't translate. Let me end this. Okay. <laughs> uh, I don't so know. rappers and R&B remixes <laughs> Listen man That starts with <laughs> um, Thank y'all for listening Until the next time Peace Arrivederci Goodbye Adios Hasta la vista I bid you adieu Deuces All of that good shit man Remember the girl is not cute She's young She doesn't have a sense of humor. She grew up with brothers. She's not thick. She's on her tippy toes. She doesn't have hips. She's sitting on a bed or a sink or a flat surface. Uh, What else do we have? She's not healing. She's hoeing. Uh, That's not woman's intuition. She went through your phone, and she is not protecting her peace. She is avoiding accountability, failing to realize that her actions have a negative effect on not only you, or not you, her, well, you, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you. Okay. Her, you, everybody, God damn it. Uh, she's not bi, she's going to make the threesome awkward. <laughs> no, I'm not even doing the dudes now. You got, you got that. <laughs> she's not bi. No. No, nah, not at all. <laughs> at all. Why haven't the men figured out <laughs> that she's not bi? Are they still getting that off? Yes. Wow. <laughs> That's an easy one to get off yeah. to a dude. Yeah. And they never answer when you say, hey, why are we beefing them out girls and you like them? Mm. Valid. Listen, man. Listen, Rory Rory just got the triple-double, man. <laughs> round, of, round, round of applause for Rory. Rory got the triple-double this episode. Over the kiss verse. That's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, kiss deserves a round of applause, too. Yeah, that's yeah, true. That's yeah. fine. Um, And that's it, man. Until the next time, everybody, enjoy your weekend. Be safe out there. And we will talk to y'all next week, man.